God damn piece of shit EA video game. <laughs> Good opening, I know. <laughs> oh, heavens. Ah, oh, my, my first ever late stream by two minutes without having the excuse of a co-host and is because of goddamn EA. God fucking damn EA. God damn you EA. Ah. Oh. Right, so first I had to try and link my Steam account, and then I was like, you don't have an EA account. Okay, I guess I don't have an EA account. All right, fine, I'll make one. And then I make an EA account, and it's like, oh, verify your password. Oh, security code. Oh, security code. Okay, fine, go to Steam. Like, oh, security code. Oh, Jesus. You get through all of that, and then it's like, I'm sorry, you've already linked this with another account. Like, ah. Oh. So it's figuring out which email this was linked to, because it was probably Origin, which was a thing 20 years ago. So I had to dig that up, and finally, here we are. Jesus. The goddamn... Ah, oh, I tell you, the account bloat. I... Shit. Account bloat isn't even a thing anymore. We've gone far beyond account bloat nowadays. Like oh, Christ. Back in the good old days... You needed, like, one account, and that was your email, and that was it. Like, nothing else was ever necessary. Now, you need five accounts to do anything. Ah, oh, it infuriates my butthole, it does. All right. Let's see, as I maneuver my way through these things here. This is why, unironically, you need the goddamn, um, the thing. The thing. Oh, here we go. Well, that was sudden. Let's see if we can bring this online. Look at this. A lightsaber. I was alone for a long time. I was scared. You know, video game, you could have warned me before you started was. playing the intro alone. at me, but... We are. Ah, fish eyes. Hey, BD1. I'm Cal. Get your lasers off my lunch. I guess it's about time I find out who I am. Ah, yes. Couple bombs ain't gonna kill you, kid. The video game is trying to make me nostalgic for the story of that previous game. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but that, that, that game had a very bad storyline. Travel together, but survivors. See, that's the issue. The fate I, of the Jedi Order lies uh, Jedi, uh, whatever the hell's title, was like, not bad. Force, like, it was, it was decent, and that's all you could expect from a Jedi game at the time, which is, you know, part of the problem. But the story was... The dark yes. Like, go on to question, you rebuild the Jedi Order. But hold on. I can't really do that, because, you know, that's somebody else's job. And then at the end of the game, the game is like, Yep, that is somebody else's job. <laughs> well, thank you. Alright. We're gonna need to reduce the volume a little bit, I assume, but it'll be okay for now. Yes, Cal. You're a failure. Don't worry, the whole Jedi's a failure. We will honor your teaching and your sacrifice. Spicy take. By the right of the council, Cal Kestis. Rise, Jedi Knight. Remember, trust only in the Force. Trust the Force. Where to now? The Force will guide you. Not to what you actually need to do, because, you know, that would be silly, but to what's the sequel, to at least, which is good. Right, video gamer, you can give me an option screen at some point. You are, thank you. Now, in the future, option screen first, then intro, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to adjust the goddamn massive-ass volume and it'll blow my ears off, won't it? Right. Um... Like, the volume looks alright at the moment. Uh... Slide, motherfucker, slide! Oh god, it's one of those games. Okay, yep. <laughs> no, no mouse controls here. Or mouse keyboard controls. Right there. 
Uh, no, I was right the first time. Got it. Text language, English, audio input, headphones. Yep, 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 yep. Okie dokie. That's more or less fine. Ah, extras. Cookies. God damn it. Graphics quality, epic. Yep. Gameplay. Um, something. Controls. <laughs> right. Thank you. Very, very useful. Uh, subtitles on, uh, on. I think those are pinched larger, would you please? Text language, Japanese. Uh, we'll do with English. Alright. Okay, well, I'll keep a look at the audio, but it looks alright for the moment. Is this a game with the new Kyle Katarn, says Boog? Yes, yes it is. This is our generation's Kyle Katarn. It's one hell of a downgrade, but then so is literally everything else, so there you go. Let me just have a quick look at the screen. Yes, I am actually streaming the video game. This is good. Uh, Noah R says, here you go, greatest Norwegian man. Replace gaming journalist like you were always meant to. Oh, God, that might make me a gaming journalist, though. I don't know about that. Um, wait, did I just click the... No! No! Video game! No! Thank you. It's like, would you like to rewatch the intro? <laughs> would I? Not necessarily. <sighs> Ornu says, Loving the Imperial Knights. Thank you, Arch. While I understand your Prussian fanboy obsession with logistics, I vaguely recall there being a lore handwave about AIs taking imprints of their pilot minds and keep, it, and keep on keeping on. I'm sure it is, but hell, I mean, at that point, you've still got the whole abominable intelligence things, don't you? Um, story mode. Mm, tempted. No! I was joking, video game. Calm down. Okay. So that, like... Closes the parry timing window. See, that's dumb. So you get used to one difficulty, and then the parry timing decreases, and then you're not used to it anymore? It's like, but video game, this is a timing thing, not a difficulty thing. It's like, no, difficulty is giving you a smaller timing window. Okay, we're gonna go with the normal one for now. Navigation hints? Yes. Yes, please. I'm very sick of being lost in these games. <sighs> Skipping dialogue? If I know anything about this game, skip might be a very wide... No. I'll be too tempted to use it. We shouldn't turn on skip because I'll just sit there hammering the F key the entire playthrough. Ah. Uh. Onu says, also, was there a small rule about certain Earthshaker rounds technically being allowed to fire onto any game in the world? I can't recall. Any game in the world? Hmm. Game? Uh, I keep clicking the interface, expecting it to work. I should, I should learn better. Right, are we about to watch another escape from the old Jedi Academy thing thing? the hell your name was. You're very forgettable. But I remember your bland. That I do. Ah, that's a, a wonderful crotch you've got there, sir. Could I maybe uh, lift up that flat there for a second now? Those are some really stupid helmets, though, I gotta say. Like, the crotch flaps I can respect, but the helmets, jeez, you guys need a better coordinator. Also, I do love how his hair remains perfectly stationary regardless of the circumstances. He can be soaping wet and his hair remains the same. He's standing in the con control, the cargo compartment of a speeding vehicle. His hair remains perfectly set in his ways. Like, you could make armor out of whatever this dude uses hair gel and it would be able to be far more blaster resistant than any other thing in the universe. 
like Beskar arm has got nothing to do. Nothing, nothing at all on this guy's hair gel. <clears throat> Denise Neff says, Age of Wonders 4 is coming out in four days. I know, I'll play that too. And the reviews are all seemingly positive and golden, combined with clear expansion pack plans and DLC roadmap. Uh, of course it's got a fight. <laughs> this game's not even out yet. Like, here's how we're going to use it for DLC. I, yeah, I, I will definitely play it. It's just like, well, it's Paradox. What the fuck do you expect, I guess? Like, the game will be out in a week. Here's our DLC plan. <laughs> <laughs> Modern video games. Hi. All right. Well, here we are on Coruscant. We're taking the scenic route. Um, why am I here? Have I been? I've been captured off screen. I'm guessing. We're gonna go down to the, the brothel section of Coruscant. The slums. The shitty bits. Tom Seppinen, as a member, becomes a member. Oh, becomes a member. Much better. Thank you very much, sir. You know, you should really check out that bump on your head. I'm pretty sure that's a brain tumor. In fact, I think you've got like five of them. That might be a health risk in the future. Oh. No, this is some kind of... This is some kind of setup, isn't it? They're gonna be like, hey, we've captured, um... Bob here. Let us in. The senator is expecting us. You're clear to move along. We want to keep the senator waiting. And then I'm going to be like, ha ha, it was a trap all the long. Yeah. Stop doing that. We should die like the rest of your kind, traitor. I kind of wish I did too. Like it would have saved me two video games. So, where's the handoff? Oh. This yep. This is definitely a setup. But what's to stop the senator from taking our prisoner and chucking us into a sky lane? He needs to keep this quiet. It does not right. Sidestepping inquisitors, one-upping Vader. The guy's playing a dangerous game. Oh. Hold on, guys. I'm just gonna... Ow. Really? Yeah, Lil. You thought of that, did you? Wait. You're just gonna stand there? See, I was just gonna wander off and see if you'd let me. Oh, they will wait for me, though. Okay, very nice. Yeah. Easy. Aura. Will you do anything? Huh? Bitch? Can't do anything? Huh? Bitch? Don't make us late. Bitch. Okay, fine. I guess I'll get on with the video game. Senator's orders. This way. We're taking a detour. Oh look, it's one of those spy drones from the Star Wars movies. There's like... Oh look, it's one of the robots from the Star Wars movies. They really like those. It's probably because it was the only popular character from the... Re I'm monologuing. It was probably because it was one of the only popular characters from the recent movies. Mostly because he was just an enormous asshole. Which, to be fair, is a fine character trait. Like rats in a maze. I don't like it. Stick with the plan. We'll be fine. As long as I get paid. says, I mean, it's just four expansions planned over a year. <laughs> That's very... I mean, it's just four. Not too bad. <clears throat> as long as it's good, I don't even mind necessarily anymore. It's just... Oh, it, it, it is such a... You can't treat us like this. I think you'll find they can. Actually, it's a good argument. Like, you can't treat us like this? Uh-huh. On whose authority? Was expensive. Someone's gotta pay for it. Greetings. Like, we're literally Imperial Stormtroopers. Like, we are the fascist government here. Hard enough to make ends meet in this galaxy. Not according to the propaganda. These are the bedrocks of the Empire. Why does every single bad guy in every single game, etc., have the whole, like, eyeshadow thing going on? Like, does it make them sinister? I mean, it guess, but it's like, I would like to make it very clear that I'm evil, so I'm going to make it look like I haven't slept in about six months. 
Also, that voice sinking is uh, perhaps a little bit. I don't speak Hatties. Ow! Oh, okay, so if you just stand there for long enough, they will eventually put your ass along. Good. A safer and more prosperous galaxy. Damn, that sounds like the good guys here. There's a Holt says, hey Arch, can't say it because of work, but real quick, have you ever played Republic Commando? In my opinion, the best Star Wars FPS. Yes, I have, and it is the best Star Wars FPS. No doubt about it, Republic Commando is amazing. It's a great game. And it does that whole companion character theme that I keep whinging on about so very, very often. As your companions are not only good personalities, they're also eminently useful throughout the entire video game, which is great. And the acumen says, Hail our Emperor Arch. The rest of you will stay here. That wasn't the deal. Deals change. Not this one. I come along, or we walk. Only you. The others must wait. Ah, it's like my programming is very inflexible, except for, you know, the possibility of letting one rando guy come along. So where'd you find him? Night Marcus. He was trying to buy a crate of electro proton bombs from a Chagrin arms dealer. How'd you make the arrest? Shut up to sleep, same as us. When the senator gets a hold of you, he'll wish you were dead. Always nice to meet a fan. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that. Blinky blonky, blinky blonky. This way, Jedi. I mean, the graphics are. <laughs> I, I do like how they are seemingly specifically programmed to abuse random humans for no particular reason. Like, who the hell programmed this? Like, just adds in like and be a douchebag to every single person you meet and turn. This seems like a program that's gonna bite us the in the butt at secure? some point. Yes, Senator. It better be. Ada's dogs are always sniffing about. Eh, hey, you're the dude on the television. Jedi is a rare quarry these days. What else have you brought me? <clears throat> He's glowy stick, sir. I'll be using that in a moment. Yep, glowy stick. Ah, heavens. It's one of those rare both ends glowy sticks. The renegade Jedi Cal Kestis. Cal was his name. You have made quite a name for yourself. Sabotaging weapons depots. Disrupting supply lines. Flaunting this for everyone to see. Wow, I've been busy off screen. The failed coup. On Norsin. <clears throat> that was your doing, wasn't it? What do you want, Senator? A confession? You already know I've been working with Saul Guerrero. Oh, that's that other guy who they killed off. Emperor, you will lead me to the remaining Jedi. I can't. I wish, but the last video game Just... told me it was a bad idea to rebuild <laughs> the Jedi Order, so, you know. No use. Resisting? Uh, I, I literally just didn't I'll find do it. Out one way or another. Sometimes all it takes is a speech, but in there I have other tools at my disposal. Or maybe I'll just use this. Your master's lightsaber, Jaro Tapal, a traitor like you. And to think one day our children will ask, what is this? Thing? This relic of a corrupt institution destroyed by its own arrogance. Arrogance. That was my little drone setting up the trap, the by the way. The arrogant sure senator. The Emperor won't mind if I deliver you. You to mean the arrogance of thinking you have captured the mighty Bob? Oh. What? Look at that. I have a security feature on my glowy stick. Did you really think you could capture me? Got classified military intel stored on your yacht. And she just brought it right to me. 
Thanks, BD. You burn for this. You know, that's mine. If you guys had blasters, you could have killed me by now, but never mind. Uh, Mercer Holt says, I want a sequel to that game so bad. And I remember hearing a rumor there was one planet where you start as Imperial Commandos who defected after being forced to kill Luke's family. Jesus. And the end game was Hoth with a last stand like Halo Reach with Vader finishing you off. Now that would be awesome. Yes, and thank you for the hundred dollars. Extremely, extremely generous, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I would love a Republic Commando sequel. Well, I, I would have loved one like a decade ago. Today, uh, <laughs> you know how that's going to work out. Anywho, pull. Tap to push single enemies and hold to push groups. Wow. Bye. Attack. All right, all right. Attack, live lightsaber. F to you is force. Whoa. So how do I block? Come on. Come on, boy. Oh, your friends are just going to watch, are they? Ha! Ooh, ooh, decapitations and shit. Nito, Cheeto. Okay. All right, all right, all right. I'm not hating this so far. Hmm. Hmm. Press to evade enemy attacks. Okay. You can't win. Uh, and press. I don't know if that works. Do you not mean this button? Uh. You mean this button? No. Okay. Video game. I'm. I'm a pinch confused. What you want from me? Uh, I mean that looks like the shift key. I'm. I'm pressing the shift key. Uh, uh, Q to heal. Okay. Wait, you can't mean this button, surely. No, that's definitely not that button. Wait, what the fuck am I doing? What did I just do? Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not that button. Alright, hold on, traitor. I'm... I mean, it can't... It can't be this, right? Because this is just me jumping. I need... Like, this is... Aha! Uh -huh. No, that can't... I am very confused. Wait, hold on. It can't be this button either, right? No, it's not that button either. Jesus. Arr. Tab? Tab! Jesus! That is the worst button imaginable for that. Like, Jesus. <laughs> that is an awful button. Thank you, chat. That is a terrible button for a dodge ability. I don't think you do, buddy. Hold on. Oh, you do have this. Good job. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Stormtrooper. I'm very impressed by you. Okay, that's going to need some rebinding, because tab is an awful key for that. Let's let's not have that be tab. <laughs> Good job, Mr. Stormtrooper. All right. Uh, controls. Uh, controls, controls. Okay. Dodge. It's not here, is it? Of course it's not. Okay. Uh, controller. Edit controls. All right. Here we go. If I can figure out how to interact with... Uh, there we go. Okay, okay. Uh, dodge, 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 dodge. Option locked. BD one navigation. Look, force pouvers. You evade. Okay. All right, evade. What's a key a bit more useful than that key? Um, hmm. Will it accept this key? Of course it won't. That would be far too easy to use my mouse keys for this, wouldn't it be, video game? Like, mouse keys? No hablo inglés. Yes, indeed. Um. Oh, oh, okay, maybe. <gasps> okay, okay, that'll make that a lot easier. There you go. Right. Serious mode. 
Look at me, son. I've learned how to dodge in the last few uh, few minutes. I'm pretty sure you guys would have better success if you just all come at me, by the way. He's frightened, for we've... Uh, he's failed already once. Okay, so I don't know what that does necessarily, but... I thought it said F for force powers. Bitch! Ow! You sneaky little bitches! Don't you know? The rules of Assassin's Creed says you only attack one at a time. You don't get to do that. Shits. Not so fast, Senator. Hit it, PD. Now he comes to us. I mean, if that was an EMP, uh, I think he would... Yeah, I was about to say, if you just killed its engines, I think it's just gonna crash. Wow, I... I didn't think this one through, did I? Well, I best hope that flight is one of my Jedi Force powers. It's okay. So Ma says, there is a reason why games allow rebinding, because some devs just have no clue what a keyboard looks like. Correct. Alright, I am presuming, using my Jedi Force powers, that I'm supposed to be going over there. You know, that animation is hardly fluid, but I'm impressed I'm in very good shape. Alright, let's do some, uh, uh, Batmaning. Up with the it is unironically not BD's fault. I was the retard who put the EMP bomb on the flying ship and expected it to not just, you know, crash. See, I don't actually mind this whole Batman thing, because that's... Oh, convenient. That is what this is. Hey! Oh, luckily they're just stormtroopers. I don't need to worry about them hitting me until it's convenient. Oh, old junk! Ah. Yes. Of course. You can't open it. You don't have anything for it, do you? Obviously, there would be lightsaber parts just lying around in some fucking random abandoned home in Connaissant. Uh. Hey, buddy. Hi! Oh, there's a dedicated pet the robot button. That's pretty nice. Is this, uh. I guess that's a secret or something. We gotta find that yacht before the Empire does. Hmm. <laughs> But I don't mind the whole, uh, Batman thing, because, hey, it works, right? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I wanted to go back to the theater to help. Hey, we've got jetpack troopers for this, don't we? It's a big district. They're doing general sweeps of the area. Our orders are to hold our ground and wait for backup. That's very wise of you. All right, you hold your ground over there. Never until the senators I'm not going to kill them. There's just scout troopers. Risk. Like, scout troopers get a raw deal in every video game ever, you know? They deserve a break. God, you do not want to be a scout trooper. Seriously. They're basically just walking cannon... <laughs> okay, I was not supposed to go down there. Okay, very well. <laughs> oh, nor was I supposed to go down there. Where am I? Ah, double jump. Thank you. Yeah, so like scout troopers. Goddamn scout troopers. They get shit on in every single video game, okay? They deserve a little bit of a little bit of break here and there. Ads will run shortly for some viewers. YouTube. Are you doing things again? Okay. 
Alright, well, I'm guessing YouTube is doing something, so have fun. And I'm lost. Am I supposed to go down there? Nope. It looked like I could step on that. Come on now. At least it doesn't just kill your ass, you know? It's just like, ah, you did a dumb. I'm like, okay. Ah. You know, you should really paint these yellow. It'd be easier for me to see them if you painted them bright yellow, because I'm a bit of a retard on occasion, and uh, you know, bright yellow things allow me to concentrate on not being a tard. Oh, God. What was that button again? Uh, that. Okay. Do we have eyes on the target? Not yet. Let's go. Move, move, move. What? Ah, they're invisible. Good. Rest there. Uh, we could, but I don't know why I would want to beyond, you know, activating a uh, cutscene sequence so I can get ambushed by somebody. I beg you. I fought in the war. The war. I doubt that. Now clear out. Senator's orders. Oh, that's it. Blast them. <laughs> it's like, uh, you know, you fought in the war. and Clear out. And they give him about two seconds, and it's like, well, we give you an opportunity. Shoots him. <laughs> it's a bit harsh. Uh, save a game and access several. Like, Risking benjamins for countless forms. Spending enemies, skill trees. Okay, right. Fair enough. Uh, lightsaber, force, blah, blah, blah. Well, I don't think I have any points yet, so we'll do that later. Leave. Leave. Uh. Okay, I guess I'm not allowed to leave until I've completed the tutorial. I mean, the four skills were useless last game, so let's hope they maybe fix that. Uh, progress further to... It's like, unlock your abilities. You can't unlock any abilities. Uh, lunging strike. Hold F to perform a long-range thrusting attack. Ooh, hold F to perform the thrusting attack, yes. I can hold down F all day, honey. Alright. May I leave now, kind sir? May I be excused? Thank you. So, tap F to do the swirly twirlies, and hold F to do the thrustings. Very well. And two to do the force pushy. Ah, much better. See, you made that glow so I knew what I was going to do. You should always assume that your players are going to be absolute retards because I am half the time. Ah, yet more random lightsaber parts scattered around the uh, business end of Coruscant. Now where? Uh, I don't think it's down there. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be down there. Look for things that you can grab. Is that grabbable? That looks grabbable, but I don't think it's grabbable. And I'm pretty sure it's not grabbable. Did I go the wrong way? I did, didn't I? Because that was the slicey bit. Uh, up here? Aha! Climb me things. What are we looking for? Suspect's mail. Was last seen on Doc oh. 27. Hi. And they say he's a Jedi. You're kidding, right? On Coruscant? That'd be ridiculous. Have gone far. Or he fled down level. The scum must have lost his mind. See, this is another problem with the poor scout trooper helmets. The fuckers are blind. Incidentally, they're not supposed to be. They're supposed to be like optics and vision enhancement and night visions and all kinds of cool shit inside of the helmet. It's just that the games never represent that in any way, shape, or form. Now, could you leave? I'd rather not kill you. I know you get a lot of shit in video games. No? Alright. The video game determines you must die. And so you must. I'm very sorry. You know... 
You fuckers really should have blasters or something. Beep, 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 beep. I beep in pleasure at the murder of these va foul vagrants. Listen, they're just soldiers. They didn't know any better. Most of them are probably grown in vats or something. Indoctrinated and so forth and so on. Why are there scout troopers on Coruscant? That's a good question. <laughs> they're, they're scouting the underhive, I guess. Yeah, it's beautiful. Okay, some kind of rare mineral, I guess. I guess there's going to be a crafting system this time around. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Oh, those were just hangy things. I thought they were in my way. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Oh, shimmy. Gosh, I hope there's nobody with a gun on the other side. Hollow map unlocked. Oh, heavens, mapping? I don't know about that. Um... Legends and collectibles. We're not going to worry too much about collectibles, I don't think. Alright. I don't know how it's still drifting. We'll get it. Oh, hey! Those guys have guns! We're about to be shot at and shit. Jump to attach to ceiling. Ah. Something in the works, huh? He always does. So long as I get my credits, it's none of my concern. Aha! Uh, off you go. So, does this block everything automatically? Yes. Do I need to? Yes. And then you time it to bat it back at them. Neato Cheeto. You know, dude. Ask to see what happened to your comrades. I'm thinking maybe you should just hold fire. In fact, he thinks so as well. This is a rather clever stormtrooper we had. Oh, spoke too soon. Well, he tried. He tried his darndest. How the hell do the stormtroopers navigate this area? I mean, I'm a Jedi and I can barely make it across half these caps. I guess they just have, you know, running speed. Uh, is that a climbing thing? No, but that looks like it might be a shimmy thing. Oh. Ooh. The double bladey lightsaber. Ooh. Okay, that's pretty neat, though, Cheeto. Oh. Remember how to dodge? Hey, I dodged that, didn't I? Pretty sure I dodged that. Okay, okay, the double bladed lightsaber is pretty kawaii. So I have. Didn't you just tell me to? No? Wait, did that just turn on? Like, how does it. Oh, you lied to me. Oh no, it's different keys for different things. Okay. Well, obviously, you'll always use the double-bladed one, because the double-bladed one is way more kawaii. Whoa. Damn, that must hurt. Like, I don't even have... Oh, his, his hands kind of freak out there on the, the upswing. You see that? Hmm. Oh, it's one of the big boys. Oh, to reflect all incoming fire back to the enemy. I see. Cameras block stamina, temporarily stunned and vulnerable. Alright, okay, so there's block stamina somewhere as well. Oh, that was a bad idea! <laughs> yes, that was a very bad idea. Don't worry, Cal of the past. You you died so this cal may live. Getting closer. Hanging in there, BD. 
Don't look down. I feel like I'm right back at where I started. Am I? I'm pretty sure I am. I'm... I'm, I'm pretty sure I am, yes. Why... Did I come back here? Okay. Right. I followed the video game's uh, directions, and I feel like I might have committed a bit of an error in so doing. Right. Well, I'm gonna presume that opened up a different path. Alright, so now that I'm back here... That will allow me to do what, exactly? No idea. I am actually just right back where I started. Mother... Back we go. At least I sort of know where I'm going this time, that's something. I am sure the video game has a deep and strident meaning for why it did this to me. It is teaching me some sort of lesson. Perhaps about looking before I leap. Maybe, maybe. It is trying to teach me about life and consequences in a way that I have never before seen. It's a very wise video game, actually. Despite all of the lightsaber swingy nonsense, it has a much deeper purpose. To teach young children about responsibility and jumping. All right. Aha! That way. Well, you bitch, that's not very fair. I mean, you really should not stand that close to the ledge. I mean... Oh, I'm gonna be saved. It's like, look! Look, friend, I have the traitor! Oh. Why did you shoot me in the groin? Uh... Thank you, very unexpected friend. I totally did it not see so that long. coming. Oh, you know, just hanging out. Literally. <clears throat> Taking in the sights. Been a while since I was on Coruscant. <laughs> mm. Thanks, Bode. Part of the job, Gustus. Thank you, unknown character. When I saw the dock collapse, I thought this heist might be over real quick. Why make it easy for him? Ah, where's the crew? Heading to the yacht. We'll meet him there. Oh, I am going to be introduced Bravo to my said crew. No comms. no comms it is. Bravo knows best. Oh. Ah. You know, in case I would like to go back there for some reason. Luke and Liz are probably starving by now. Hungry Klaatuinians. Ooh. You don't want that. Remind me to tell you about the Corita job sometime. Looks like that factory stopped the yacht. I'd call that a win. No gunships. Crew must be making mischief. Mm. Let's not keep them waiting. Yes. The yacht with the highly sensitive data I need being stuck inside of what appears to be a rather flammable factory. I do not see how this could possibly go wrong. Or create a mass casualty event, for that matter. Um, look around the environment to find an object for Bode to interact with, then press R. Okay, Bode, um, what can you do? Can you... Oh, I need to... I'm sorry, video game. I wasn't ready, I guess. What? Think you can knock down that crate? Worth a shot. Oh. Okay. Alright, alright. I don't mind that kind of stuff. 
Like, okay. The NPC does a dumb thing, and then then I'm like, thank you, NPC, for doing the dumb thing. I'm actually entirely fine with that. That's a good way to do NPCs. Bring them along, give them a decent bit of personality, and then make them semi-useful by, you know, doing random shit in the environment. Tell you how I, got it sometime. I shot a Mandaborian in the face. Who taught you to move like that? My master. A previous video game. Every time I fell, oh. he got me back on my feet. Sounds like a good teacher to me. Well, he wasn't that good of a teacher. He forgot to tell me about the double jump occasionally. Looking for us. Better us than Found something. I get hacked, right? Ah. Slippery ramp. Jedi. No can handle slippery things. Oh. Force not powerful enough to handle tiny bits of water. Oh, what was that? Bye, I guess. What the? Now I'm actually curious what the hell that is. Alright, is that... Nope. <laughs> that looks... I feel like I'm falling to my death a lot in this video game. I, I keep thinking, like, that looks climbable. That does not look climbable. Uh, are you trying to teach me something? Is this a teaching moment? No? This is not a teaching moment. Is that thing supposed to do something? Okay. I mean, I've already killed myself a few times already. Nope. I can't grab onto that. Very well. Bob! Help! There's a tiny amount of water here. I can't possibly proceed. Climby thing? Not climby thing. Climby thing? Not climby thing. Climby thing? Not climby thing. Oh, God help me. Why am I so retarded? Wait. Oh, no. That's obviously a right saber resistance. Oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you, video game. I should have known. Who needs a jetpack? Huh? See that oh. cable? Go do that. On it, Kestis. You know, I feel like this son of a bitch could just, you know, let me ride on his backpack with him and it would make everything a hell of a lot easier, but uh why am I so low in health? Can oh, it takes a little bit of health every time I jump to my death. Okay, well. That's going to be a problem in the future. Gosh darn it, another slippery slope. Another slippery slope. Hmm. Maybe the game is trying to tell me something. You see, modern year politics is just one long slippery slope from beginning to end. Bucket heads below. No going around them. Then we go through them. Already when you are, Kestis. Well, I'm about to make a very dramatic entrance, Bob. Uh, oh. Oh. I was hoping I'd do like a like a spinny cool attack there. But I was denied my ability to do a spinny cool attack. Ow, ow, ow. Jesus Christ. Why? There's so many of you. Hey, do the thing. Thanks. Back at you. That terminal on it. Ooh, okay, the game likes throwing a lot of enemies at you, which I don't mind. Alright, I resisted my urge there to leap to my death immediately. Terminal. Is this a terminal? This is indeed a terminal. Troopers coming. Let's get the drop on him. Sure thing. On your signal. Hold control, then press to ask Bode to attack a targeted enemy. Alright. Uh, Bode. Go for like that one. Ha. You know. 
I don't mind yeah, boat so far. Too. Boat can be my friend. I don't speak binary. I'd prefer for it to be this female boat. But I don't mind boat so far. Oh, Yacht's the, just over there. The urge course, to jump. The bridge is under construction. Irresistible. Me. <laughs> boat looks now. over. Why did you do that? Ah, uh, it's just a thing, Bowen. You wouldn't understand. Reading my mind, Jedi. Oh. All set. Convenient. Oh, Healy Point. Don't mind if I do. Renovation site 4733. Hmm. Ready. I'm with you. Dum 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 dum. This place is a ghost town. Coruscant's changed a lot over the last few years. Huh? These days, just being outside is asking for trouble. I mean, that is a good point. We are on the largest city planet in, like, the entire galaxy, and there's literally nobody around. Let's avoid that patrol. Agreed. Why? It's like, oh, those stormtroopers, those stormtroopers should be avoided. Unlike the previous five dozen we murdered? Why is this one special? Oh, well. You see, those, those are, um... They're intended to be like a plot point or something to make you uh, afraid of stormtroopers. Come here. Uh, I hate probe droids. Same. The way they probe me, I just don't like it very much. You kamikaze mother. Bye. Bob. Was that really fucking necessary? I mean, he was dead. You had to make him deader. I mean, to be fair, he probably saved him, you know, the... No, 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 you know what? Bob was right in doing that. Bob was right in putting him out of his misery, because otherwise that little poor bastard would have been falling for God only knows how long before smashing his head open upon a pavement somewhere. What a far shitter way to die. Piece of shit. I am very glad they don't instantly kill you. Bode, seriously, you could save me at least once when I fall off these things, couldn't you? Say no. It's a one-man jetpack. Sorry, I only got fuel for myself. Oh. Damn, I did a good job of avoiding that patrol. Press 4 to activate Max Pain Mode. Working on it, goddammit! Gimme health, gimme health. On the bright side, it feels like the force powers are way more oh, user-friendly this time around, so we'll actually try to use them more. Dead end. Let's double back. Maybe Bob has one of those uh, jetpacks in the, from the Mandaborian, which has enough fuel to get into orbit when required to do so, but not enough fuel to chase some random-ass dragon across uh, a few kilometers of land to save a baby. So, where is that? Oh! Nice! Sorry. You play with me? The game is rigged from the start. I saw that coming, but I forgot to jump. Dad, Joji Key. Nope. That door is, uh... I think BD wants you to knock that down. <laughs> now I'm taking orders from a droid. Dude, her BD is far more clever than I am. Then again, I feel like BD wasn't quite clever enough. Got to get up there. Any ideas? I mean, you could just lift my ass. That would that would be the cleverest idea. 
But it's a bit too much to ask of Bode. So I'll just move this 50 ton crate instead. The Emperor turned the Jedi Temple into his palace. Yeah, that's what the Empire does best. Take something you love and make it something you can't stand the sight of anymore. Well, in this case, I think it was more just as a deliberate F you to the Jedi Order, honestly, rather than just, you know, wanting to have a fancy house. Palpatine did a lot of things as deliberate F you to the Jedi Order, like keeping his lightsaber in that stupid little uh, plastic figurine right by his desk, for example, or making it very ornate and filled with gold and shit to make sure that the Jedis would be offended by its ostentatiousness. And yet again, I'm confused as to where to go. Is that climbable? Yes. You know, part of me really does hate this whole let's make everything a jumpy thing thing. In part, it's because I'm not very good at it. But in part two, it's like, just let me kill shit. I'm quite enjoying the combat so far, so, you know, just let me slash people. A few jobs here and there? I could tell you impressed him. That isn't easy. It's like, no, you must jump. Right. And I continue up here. You might be able to use that crane to get across the bridge. Might be. Using the Empire's tools against him. Huh? Thanks. I don't know why I'd want to go back, but... Hi. Oh. This guy's a special stormtrooper, because he's orange. Not special enough, though. Working that scrap. Alright, so every now and then I'm supposed to enter ma max pain mode to kill particularly annoying encounters. This game has made me a bit nervous about going down holes, but. Uh, is this just gonna. Yep, it's just gonna lead me right back to where our goddamn was. Please be a climbing wall, thank you. Shimmy. Bo, do you know how to shimmy? Have you the skills? No. Time to learn how to fight droids, bitch! Nope. Red attacks cannot be blocked, must be avoided. Very well, video game. Ow. That was a cheaty move, don't you think? Like, I blocked you, and then you attacked me again? It's a little bit unfair. Now that I know your tricks, I do can play that game. The timing game, yes. Oh, wait, you... Bitch, I literally have a second health... What the... Oh, wait, is that just like his... I'm confused. Oh no, that's his, like, block bar. Okay, fair enough. And then I beat him up. Alright. Can I use force powers on you? Of course not. You're too heavy of a droid. I mean, I can lift an enormous 70 tons block of solid steel. I can do that. I can force that shit around. But a droid? Oof. No, sure ain't. Let's look around. That's far too heavy. Find something, buddy? What's he got? Outcast and Academy are still better than this. Um, Workers use construction. Possible, yes. Can you repair it? Uh, cable's a bit frayed. Not in bad shape. Should be a quick patch job. Hmm. <laughs> ah, yes. Let me just... Let me get to repairing this shit. So I heard... You fought the Empire on Kashyyyk. Yeah. 
hijacked a walker, and broke open an Imperial prison camp single-handed. That one was BD. Just the two of you. And some friends. Well, they didn't do much. What about you, new guy? Win this for the credits? The credits never hurt. But, uh... I have a daughter. Kata. I don't get to see her as often as I'd like, but at least I can provide for her. What? Must be hard, being away from her. A positive father figure? Her mother. She's In gone. this day and age? Are you sure? The Empire took her from us. Are you sure this is okay, Star Wars? Are you sure this doesn't violate Sorry. some sort of ethical code you've developed recently? Taking a lot of people. More every day. I mean, his armor is really, really stupid, but still. And I wish he'd wear his helmet. The helmet was very dumb as well, but... I'll figure it out. It was a scrapper on I kind of dislike the whole bareheaded thing in the middle of combat. So Just trying to survive. Aren't we all? <laughs> Chastler, he's gonna die. Yep, yep, he probably is. He's probably not gonna live very long. Ascension cable's holding. Good, like, father, it. why did you go out and leave me? I was your daughter, father. We should make her into a Sith or something. Oh, even better, we'll make her into a Jedi and then He's get her killed on the battlefield, too. Let's see if we can wipe out his entire family lineage. Back to the bridge? Hope the crew's doing all yes. right. If Gavis gets bored, he might slice into Imperial comms for fun. She that good? Too good. Syndicate trained, but got on the wrong side of her employers. Uh, oh. Bravo used to fly for the Republic. I'm Batman. I just start working with Cuban Liz. Cantina on Norset. Bounty hunter Wait, got the drop no. on me. Don't go I'm down there. Down mine oh, that's what the flippy that things are. Oh, okay. The flippy things are meant to be grabbed on by my gra Batman grappling. You know, bitch, you really could just fucking carry me. It'd be. Uh, never mind. Uh. Am I supposed to go down there? I don't want to go down there. Hey, fine. I feel like the game is leading me into a trap yet again. Oh, might as well take the opportunity to heal and restock on magic juice. Hold on, Bob, I just need a few seconds here to recharge my droid by uh, looking at it. There. Alright, let's move. Estus recharged. Solid crew, Kestis. Hope I'm pulling my way. You got us to the senator. Sounds like he wants to double my cut. Is that right, BD? Lead the way, Scrapper. I think that was BD laughing at his ass. Oh. Yeah. Alright, and another one. You know, game, chaining all of these different movement things together is gonna be a bit too much for my old brain. See you. <coughs> hey, oh, Bravo. a second one of you. Never goes according to plan, does it? Huh. What fun would that be? <clears throat> How's the new guy doing? Bit of a talker, but good in a fight. Huh. I'll take it. Gab slashed the yacht. Senator can't call for help, but he's locked in pretty tight. You try knocking? Three holds in it as a hey, arch. Hope you're doing well. Also, I love the thumbnail. It is, dare I say, rather cheeky. Tricky indeed. Batisa. Yeah, no, it is one of my Batisa. favorite thumbnails pretty much ever. I just it's right. The twins that the senator had you in there stuffed and mounted. Wow, you it. are remarkably ugly. Hey, if you die, I get the mantis, right? Yeah, you are Sorry, you guys. are definitely a current year character. Mm -hmm. Like so you are vile, darling. Vile. That yacht's a side in our rim city. The senator has God, I fucking hate this home. thing though. Like I every single female by. character in games these days, they've they've Got to be ugly. They have Even to the be. Can pry those bad boys open. How are we getting in? I mean, to be fair, Bob over there is hardly a looker either, back. but... Then I'll work my slicer magic. At least the two dudes are not assistant. actively offensively ugly. I'll grab a transport. Back before you know it. God, I hope they all die. Let's do this. Ugh. Seriously, it's not hard. You're making a video game. You can make them as attractive as you want. There's, there's no problem. Like, there's no reason why this couldn't be a drop-dead gorgeous blonde chick with enormous honkers. 
There is no problem with it. You do not have to make her this. It is, it is your choice. It is an active selection on your part. Oh, hold on, boys. Let me just, like... Oh. I was going to do that with the force, but if you insist. Thanks, twins. Jedi. Uh... Is that a yeah, climby yeah, thing? Yeah, maybe next time you'll check for syndicate tasks before you pick a fight. That looks like a climby thing, but I'm not sure. Huh? Oh, oh, that was a climby thing. Never mind. Maybe we'll get lucky and they'll all die. It turns out this was a trap trap. So we were gonna be Just like, we're gonna trap the center. And the center like, aha! I'm gonna trap you instead. And then everybody dies. That'd be a good start to the video game. I think I can handle that. Because right now the game is like, hey, these are like characters, and you've totally known them for ages, like be in the before right. times and shit. To move those beams, but yeah, Gav's giving me the heads up. All right. Like you should totally care about their well-being, and then stabs them in the face, repeatedly, violently. The problem is, video game. If you do that, I will simply laugh. That does look unhealthy. First beam's uh. down, Gabs. Can you tell the twins to pull down the yacht? On it. Because I kinda actually do good. like the interaction with the uh, side characters so far. Safe you know, it's it's pretty nice. I've always been, again, championing the whole thing of the companion AI, and it doesn't need to be much. It just needs to be AI that are useful and make you feel as though you're taking part in a larger operation. And so far, the game is doing fairly well in doing just that. That also makes me very suspicious, though, because, like... Eat wonky patwa, or something. Like, we have a positive father character. Oh, I can climb that. Which is rare enough in and of itself. We have companion characters that are at least, you know, sort of likable. They're hardly the most charismatic individuals I've ever encountered, and, uh, you know, they could look less like dogs. But still. Let's go reintroduce ourselves to the senator. It's quite nice, which is why I'm also expecting them to all die horribly. Uh, a slow walking segment. We're about to have a story segment. Stay back! I'm warning you! Oh. Hey, you lie. There's I nobody in here. Unfinished business. Give us your terminal passcode. Impossible! They'll execute me! Maybe I could change his mind. You will give me access to your terminal. I can't! Ah. Uh. Trust reward. Unlock it and you'll be rewarded. I'll be rewarded. I will unlock the terminal. And this guy seems like a bit of a greedy bastard, so. If he moves, blast him. Oh, my pleasure. All right, BD. Let's see what we got. Is it the Death Star again? Oh, no. The game can't be that bankrupt, surely. Everywhere. Not the breakthrough we were hoping for. Years of fighting. Nothing we've done has slowed them down. Well, no. What did you expect? Like, you're you one lost. bitch. The An entire is galaxy. Politicians just like you. Do you think I wanted Utapau to join the Empire? Utapau? The compromises I made created a future for my people. I've been to Utapau, Senator. They speak your name out like a curse. At least they are alive. Dude's Why got a point. when you can't win? Dude's got a second point. Surrender tastes bitter at first, Cal. But sweetens with time. Free me. And we'll cut a deal. 
I don't think so. No, Senator. Someday when your children see this, they'll know the Jedi never stopped fighting for them. How disappointingly naive. Hey, the twins are getting that ravenous look. Let's wrap it up before we have another Karita incident on our hands, yeah? What about him? He's coming with us. Okay, let's take their food to go. Which tool of negotiation should I start with first? Didn't you call me sharp-tongued? This one is blunt. Well, it will have to do. Damn, he had homosexual intercourse right here. With his blunt objects. Oof. Right, well, at least he got some oomphing and offing out of it. Is that a testicle? Huh. Well, you know, some people have certain fetishes and they'd like to display those certain fetishes. Sometimes that includes hanging people's testicles on the walls. It is an acquired taste, but uh, it is a taste. Lucky you, Senator. You've got a date with Saw Gerrera. He'll kill me. Oh, I don't know about Oh, he'll that. do a lot worse than that, honey. Whether you cooperate. That's a skill Senator's prize, right? Cooperation. Uh, I don't actually talk with, want to talk with any of you, so let's just go. It's like, talk with your crew. Uh, I'm good. I've changed good. my mind. We should always target the Empire. Yeah, feels good to make a difference. No, they're loaded. Filthy rich. Make the huts look clean by comparison. I bet this senator has more credits down to this. Well, yeah, I was about to say violent interruption in 3, 2, 1, but the game got ahead of me. Oh no, it's a trap trap. Fools, I knew that filthy looking white guy was not really trusted. I've been boom. Yes. Oh, is it tasty goth chick? Please be tasty, God. Yeah. You have been caught harboring a train. Yeah, not quite what I was hoping for. Yeah, wrong sister. We can kill this one. This one doesn't get to live. Castus! Aren't you dead, by the way? I'm pretty sure I lightsabered you repeatedly, like a dozen times at least. And they die. Oh no, the side characters. Look out! My, what a tragedy. All these friends. Look at them. Dead as doorknobs, every last one of them. Oh, oh. Oh, woe is me. Help! Gotta go! Nah, I got a revenge Help, dog face. Go Help, where you going? Plus, I don't like this Get one very here, much. Go. No! Want to kill my sister? <sighs> I guess that's a boss fight for later then. Oh! More washer, my my one weakness. Well, that looks warm. <laughs> ah, right on the poop conveyor belt. Nice, nice. Gotta get to the mantis. No one could possibly have seen this coming. Correct, chat. We'll mourn later. <laughs> Dog face. Moving. Twins. Like, we didn't even name the other ones, we just... Okay, I do need to get... <sighs> Gotta stay one step ahead. Uh, marked walls to perform wall jump. 
Is that a marked wall? I am confused. Okay, so I cannot wall jump off this wall. Uh huh. Okay, I was being all fancy like. I'm gonna have to bounce off that wall and do that bow wall. No, no, no. You just jump off the same wall repeatedly. Okay. Alright, video game. If you say so. Oh, no. It's another battle droid, and this time I don't have Bob to help me. Whatever will become of me. Bitch! You got a gun. That's cheating. Ow! Why? That is actually cheating. Piece of shit, I can hardly see it. The gun's so small. It's actually difficult to tell if he's gonna shoot or hit me. Oh. You were a lot softer than the other one. Nice. Hey, da -da -da -da. It's a button beating one. Canister. That'll prove useful. Ah, that will be prove useful. I've misplaced the other like fifteen I gained in the previous game. Huh. How very convenient for the Empire. Well, I'm hardly gonna say no to more Estus, I guess. Oh no. Aha! Of course, that's how you do it. Now, don't get distracted by the other one. You make them go boomy, and then you push them off, and then they go explode over there instead of in my face. Much better. That way's blocked. It's a green wall, master. Come on, we'll come back later. And literally, that was the game's feedback. It's like it's a wall. I will bring the night Right, I can't dodge that. You cannot dodge that, sir. But you can just bash them in the face repeatedly, and that'll work just fine. Hold L to illuminate your lightsaber. Not today. Illuminate? Please. Oh no, it's uh, 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 meat patties? Ah, oh, I can cook the meat patties. Neato Cheeto. Axelhead88 says, Hey, thanks for being up today for more Night Lord and for even considering doing a Sabbath World Lord Cities. Just gonna finish all the books myself before too long. I will be doing that. It'll be, you know, winter before you actually get around to uh, finishing and making it, mind you, but I will do it, yes. Alright, in the meat patty storage, I found a thing. I didn't pay attention to what the thing was, but I'm sure it was very useful. Ach, mach dich There's a monster in there. I wonder if the monster can be... No. It's yellow, though. It means it's interactable. Sadly, the door is out of resistance to that. I was supposed to go in there after all. Oh, nothing there. He's in here somewhere. We'll find him. Wait, friends? No. Blowy things. I mean, that's yellow, which tells me that I'm supposed to go over there, but... There are bad guys in here, which make, means I want to go over here. Surely. Packy things. Jump. Jump. Shimmy? Shimmy! Be ready. Fossil, get ready! 
Hold control and press Z to temporarily confuse an enemy into fighting their allies. Yeah, these commands are getting awfully specific. Thanks, bud. You to use it like that. Troopers everywhere. Gotta be careful, BD. Oh. Okay. Can't wait to find that Jedi. It's gonna be my first kill. You ever fought a Jedi? Sorry, I wanted to let you finish speaking, but the game was like, kill him now or forever hold your peace, and so, you know, I had to. Ah, oh, this guy didn't even hear anything. It is a much crueler way to kill them. I haven't been using my max pain powers at all, which I probably should. I didn't see you over there. I'm done with this place. Uh... Hey, BD, let's go. Bonk. 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 Let's stop here. Yes, I'm done with this place, except for this small rest area right here. I'm quite fine with this one. All set. Ah, look. Bad dudes. We're about to get ourselves into a little fight. Come on, boys. Let's rock. Yeah, that was a pinch less stealthy than I'd been disintipped, expected. Oh, am I gonna get saved now? Okay. That was, uh, violent. Good to see you. Wanna ride? Yeah, Let I feel a bit bad for those guys. Keep that other gunship off my back. Oh, no. Getting actually squished to death has got to be the worst way to die, surely. We gotta take her out. Huh? Oh, that one. I know, right? I'd show you his good pickup. The real whole senator says, Arch, is it NTR if an otherworldly being takes over the person's body and uses it to sleep with their girlfriend if their person has no memory of it? That's a very complicated question in the midst of such a hectic video game, the real Snyder. Um. I'm gonna say, uh, maybe. That's not how lightsabers work. You literally can't use them as a helicopter. That is not, that is, no. That is, big no. Oh. Hey, I can do that too, look! See, we can both do it. Pretty neat, pretty, pretty neato cheeto, righto? Oh, right, you can't dodge those. Alright. I'm probably attacking a bit too much, I feel like. Video game, I'm in the middle of a boss fight. Impressive. Don't throw random cutscenes at me. I was supposed I to be fighting right it. now. Video game. Oh, the guilt Video game. For those fools you led to their deaths. Video game. Seriously. Makes you so, 
so predictable. Predictable. Girl, you fool. Okay, that looks unfortunate. What are you doing? Your death make me a legend. Oh. That was sudden. Stim, please. So, what am I supposed when he does that? Just stare at him stupidly? Don't make me wait. Come here. Dude, you're literally in a corner. You can't dodge me. What? I'm not sure what the game wants me to do when she does that. It's like, you're in a corner. I can literally keep hitting you. Oh god, the glowy things. They're so confusing. They're everywhere. That cow, my mind. Your court will be a mess. Okay. I'm I'm assuming there's something I'm supposed to do when she does the glowy head thing. Oh really? Seriously. Hey. You can't match me. Why do I... Do not do the whole fucking boss run thing, video game. I swear to Jesus. Please let this be a can I get there fast? I can't read chat whilst I'm in a boss fight chat. Confusion. Alright, so this is not the worst boss run at least. Okay, that's good. This is gonna Alright, let's get her timing windows down at least a bit more. I should probably just keep walking around her. Because if I don't, I don't get to dodge the things. No, game, do not fucking do the, do not run the goddamn things every time. It's very stupid video game. Yeah. Okay, well that didn't do shit. You failed your friend. Hey, that doesn't do shit. Zed? But I'm doing the Zed thing. It's like learn new mechanic in boss fight. Zed. Let's play a game. Uh. It's not the force powers. I've tried the force powers. It's not that. I don't know if there even is a mechanic. Yeah, I just tried Control Z. It's also entirely possible that we're simply just, uh, overreading it, assuming that there would be a mechanic when there is no guarantee that actually is a mechanic at all. Probably should have taken that opportunity to hit her in the face some more. I do hate the fighting the ones with the double-bladed lightsaber. Block that video game. Oh, do not, video game, do not. Do not play cutscenes in the middle of fights. What the fuck is wrong with you? Okay. 
Okay, force push, force pull. Nope. Now, if there is a mechanic using that, I don't know what the hell it is, and it doesn't seem to be anything important. They're at least not more important than simply just hitting her. Maybe, uh, what about... No, it just passes right through her for reasons unknown. This is very, very annoying. I have two sticks now. Fast strike and upgrade force party build for this total stamina, okay? All style, no substance. Okay, you can up you can interrupt the things with the force power, can you? Nice. That makes it a bit more useful. Assuming I to use them, mind you. Well, that heal did nothing. Like, you're just actually pervious. That two video game, but if you say so. Just keep hitting her in the face. She'll fall over eventually. Maybe. Like, again, I keep holding control, I keep hitting Zed, and she glows blue, and nothing happens. You hold F to automatically power most attacks, including projectiles require force. Okay. Masana. You were a Jedi Knight before you betrayed our order. I don't think she was. No, just kill her. Just stab. Sana Tide. Oh, she has a mechanical leg now. Yay. I did cut off a good piece of her, at least. It's time to set you free. I mean, I would have preferred to do that myself, video game, but... So long as she's dead dead this time, I'm happy. Okay. Skill point a qua. Alright, so I have uh uh meditation points. Oh, I can only have two stances at a time. Alright. So, double blade one is less stamina, but it's probably been better for bosses, I guess. Sorry, buddy, you're gonna be stuck in there for another century. Hmm. I mean, less power, more speed. Wait, double-bladed has less range? 
Squizamoa? How? A uh, double bladed lightsaber. Uh, yes, it's a much shorter weapon. Are you. Are you entirely sure about that? I'll do double bladed in the stick. Alright, have I unlocked anything now? Survival? More hit points, maybe? Maximum life increase. You know what? That sounds pretty gosh darn useful to me. Twofold reflection. Actually, I'll take that one, because the lunge strike. I remember it being kind of useful in the previous one, and, uh. What? No, no, I wish to learn this one. Okay, I am apparently not allowed to learn this one. Alright, very well. Ah, yeah, oh god. It's the hold down the button interface again. Right, now give me more health points. I remember struggling with that in the previous game too. It's like, hold down the button. I don't want to. I am far too impatient to hold down a button. Like, Jesus, do you, do you have any idea how much concentration that requires? What's that, BD? Alright, all our friends are dead. Uh, the Sith thing is also dead. Well, not Sith, Inquisitor, actually. Not the same thing. As the Inquisitors were something made up by uh, Disney to basically go like, well... If we can't have lots of Siths, that makes it kind of boring because we need lightsabers, so we're oh, just going to make the Inquisitors. Are you there? And they're going to be Siths get back to the in all respects, the except they're not. Us at the hangar. If not. Also, we're going to give them very, very stupid lightsabers that do very dumb things. That spin and shit. Why? Nobody quite knows, but they do spin. You too can spin. Down there. Oh, look at that. My face is on the television and shit. That's pretty cute. Oh. Jump to buckets. <laughs> what? No. Ah. I didn't press the button, video game. Ah, da -da -da -da. Okay, so I'm not supposed to press the button because he attaches to the thing automatically, and if you press the button, you die. Very well. Hello, Stormtrooper. You're far less dangerous than a vertical plunge, I'm afraid. <laughs> Stun my ass, why don't you? Ah, yes. Remember, just because you hit them doesn't mean they're stunned. Toss it. At least these are a little bit more easier to see when they're attacking you. All the twirly shit. Just kind of stuck out of the ceiling. Fair enough. Oh. I think the video game wants me to switch lanes. And I did. Successfully. Fingers close. I tried to dump my ass into the abyss, but I outsmarted it. Now. Could we get more goth girl? Because I don't like Ninth Sister. Now that she's dead, I'm quite happy. We're but alive. I still want goth Thanks girl. This crazy son of a gundark. You hurt. I'll manage. What happened to the Inquisitor? Dead. The gaps. And the twins. I dead too. They knew what they signed up for. 
We need to get topside and transmit that intel to Saul Guerrero. Half and half says, why does this game just look, just seem like a worse Sekiro? It kind of is in a way. You're right. Like, yeah. BD, call the ships. The, the Jedi games, the recent ones anyways, they've always been trying to be quite Souls-like. With um, a bit of an emphasis on the Sekiro as well as blocking. But Sekiro did not do a whole lot of like platforming nonsense because it knew it wasn't necessary. It knew that the focus of the game was on the, you know, action, the slashing and the cutting. And everything else was something that you'd occasionally engage in a little bit here and there, but it wasn't a big deal. And of course the bosses themselves were the, the main draw. I don't know, like, maybe for somebody who really enjoys platforming, this is a tremendous amount of fun for me. It's just... Excuse me. It's just a thing that keeps me from killing the next person. Moving into position. <laughs> Literally. I've got you covered. Now you're Let's slowing do down my murders. I need to clear my mind. Uh, I suppose you could also argue that it makes, you know, traversing the map in and of itself a gameplay mechanism. Which might keep you from getting, I don't know, bored? Huh. Well, that works. How did he do that? I pressed the mouse button. It's incredibly effective. Enemies down. More work to do. I do again quite like the way that the game is focusing on, uh, I'm focusing on your companion characters, though. Like, I quite enjoy that part, actually. The fact that they then killed my companion characters off makes me, uh, a bit worried about what... I, I just praised you, Bob, and you let him stab me in the back, Bob. How could you? That was your responsibility. You were supposed to help me, Bob. You never should have crossed us. Got a little more fight in you, Kestis? Uh-oh. Look out, Bob. That one's got a double stick. I can't help but notice, though, that they don't seem to target my companions at all. In fact, they just kind of walk around them, ignoring them, whilst getting shot and hit by them. That might be the reason why my companions feel so very effective. It's because the enemy literally does not recognize that they are there. You make a good team. Let's remember to try and use the... Oh, wait. Oh, this one doesn't actually have the... I've been spending my, my skill points on a weapon setup that I don't have. Because I figured this would have the stabby thing too, but it doesn't have the lungy thing. As far as I can tell, it's only all that. Okay. Right, I should be a little bit more careful then, looking at what actually has what. Right, am I supposed to get aboard this this vessel here of some sort? I feel like the game is telling me to get aboard the vessel, but I feel like the game also didn't open a path for me to get into the vessel. I don't know how the vessel got in here, actually. Does the vessel have an entrance? Perhaps in the arse. Nope. Oh. oh, no, I was supposed to partake in dialogue. I see. C95. Nice. That one's all yours, Boat. Had a hunch this might be a hot exit. See you both in the air. Ready? Oh, this has been a great first date and all, but I still haven't gotten paid. Locator beacon? Got the other on the Mantis. When things cool off, come and find me. We'll settle up. Yeah. Sure, I can trust you. You saw the intel. A lot more work to be done. Looks like I made the cut, huh, BD? <laughs> Boat. May the force be with you. That was an enormous You're death flag like you just raised over my head, bro. So well you, fly. <laughs> you know I've got a child, right? 
Mark the Shame says, Sith need the th rule of three. Rule of one, there is only one master. Rule of two, there must be an apprentice. Rule of three, before the apprentice challenge the master, must have an apprentice. And master oh, can take second apprentice if first is weak. Oh. Whatever it is, I'll have to wait until we get some place to... I'm not a fan of the, um, yeah, the whole rule of two thing. Like, just let the Sith have Sith. Because in the old stuff, there were a whole empire of Sith. Like, I don't... Like, it was a cool movie line, like, always two there are, to, you know, foreshadow that there was another one, but I don't see the point of it. It seems silly, dumb, dirty, idiotic. No traffic. Looks like this portal's under maintenance. As soon as we breach the surface, jump to light speed. Gotta take the risk. We've already overstayed our welcome. What risk? Light speed jumps have no rules anymore. You can jump from inside the planet, it's fine. Got company. On my mark, hit the brakes. We'll drop behind him. Copy that, Bravo. Well, this is very nice cool work, and all. Everyone. And I think it would Hope make a good last. gameplay segment. Ah, oh, dang, they had more of them. More coming. I'll peel off, draw a few away. Thanks, Bode. Good luck. Can't you just do the Check whole break trick soon. again? It worked out pretty well first time. Damn. Can't shake I wish I'd Hold mounted on. some defensive turrets with this boat of mine. Okay. I mean, that's that is one way to do it. That's one way to do it. Learn that Correct. move from you. There's our exit. We're almost there. All coming in from the surface. And on our tail. We're trapped. Kills down. We're almost. Ah! Oh no! Second weird side character. Also, I'm pretty sure those things don't have shields. Gosh darn it, I killed every last one of my friends except for Bob. Darn. Took some hits back there. Well, he was the only Fly one with the gameplay effect, so. Well, transmit the intel. Like, I totally knew these people. This was totally a thing we did together. You know, <sighs> you should probably have built them up a little bit more. I mean, they were always going to be pigs to the slaughter regardless, but you're better off building up the characters before you kill them. Instead of just killing them. It's as we hoped. This book is a copy from the Jedi Archive. In case you forgot about the story from the last video game. Just wish we could have stopped the Empire from getting the rest. The old Snader says a penalty butt light sales are down 50%. Or, oh, well, it couldn't have happened to a better company, could it? I do hope that is true. I really do. Butt light deserves it. Ah, uh. Halfway acceptable past, female Karen. person. And I have seen only a little of what it has to offer. But one day, I will return to Dathomir and whisper what I have learned to my sleeping sisters. You were not invited. You know, it's not often I break out an old family recipe like this. We're reminiscing, chat. Well, what do you think? Mary. It's good. Could use some more salt. 
Too much salt is bad for you. It's We're having wonderful grace. memories and stuff. I'd actually pay credits for this. Oh yeah? Hey, I might start charging you, Cal. <laughs> hey, does anybody else smell something burning? Now you're in a video game. You'd be better off just doing this instead of like, hey, do do you remember, Cal? Like you had like friends and shit before you killed your new ones. Maybe you should find the old ones. That's a great idea, BD. Gyro's failing. Maybe we could kill them too. In fact, I wouldn't mind killing most of them. Any ports nearby that won't turn us in for a reward? Up the Kobo system. At least he's got himself a little bit of a beard now. I want to point that out. He's got a little bit of fuzz on his face. This is good. That's where he settled down. Out in the middle of nowhere. Could be a good place to lay low. If anyone knows how to fix up the mantis, it's Grease Dritus. Think we can make it? Oh, okay. Tidy up before we visit Grease. Come down, video game. Oh, is about mess. Stomar says Bode is sus. He is still alive, and he is the only one who is still alive, which does make him a little bit sus. Yes. Why did we just leave the the eggs on the? the fr That's disgusting. So, did you actually need me to uh, tidy up, or was that just something you told me so as to keep me away from the cockpit for about five seconds? Mm, I suspect the latter. Oh. There. Ah, I can skin my pet's robot if I so choose. I don't know if I so choose. Let's get this back on the workbench. Wait, could I give him stupid cat ears? Okay. Never mind. That could be pretty funny. Let's paint it bright green with stupid cat ears. A chance to focus on my equipment. Okay. Stuff and things and things and stuff. Like, look, I can have this grip instead. Hermit. Sure, why not? I can definitely work with that. More importantly, come here, Beatty. It's time to take all of your skin off. Okay, that is cute. Stupid, but cute. Ah, starter paints. Accent, condition, well kept, worn, aged, agent. Ancient. I didn't really care for this robot much. Hmm. There. You can be pristine. You can be nice and pretty and stuff. That should do it. Eh. I'm bored of this. We're almost there. Let's I just the made cockpit. a hole in my roof, but never mind. Haven't used these since the scrapyard on Braca. Roth gave them to me. Reminisce. There, there's a fucking place in my house for reminisce. <laughs> so I remember that other game? No. It was very unrememberable. <laughs> to be fair, that's a good reason to put memorabilia in your game. That previous one was so goddamn unmemorable that you probably forgot most about it. Are so good. Hopnoff says a full mission where they survived a dangerous encounter and then died on the next mission. You know, so we get attached. Yeah, no. You should. Give the player the idea that they have plot armor before killing them. Because that way, you'll be at least a little bit surprised that That's they fine. don't have plot armor. Instead of murdering them in the first mission. The system's failing all over. Guy anything? Yeah. 
firing sublight engines. Nice one, buddy. We're not gonna make it to the hangar. We gotta put her down. Hold on, BD. Well, that hole I made in the engine roof really came back to bite me in the patoos, didn't it? Scoot finds us, says, I see the writers took some notes from Fallout 4. The good old player character issue. The character cares, but the player has no reason. Case in point, Wait, Sean and the spouse. We won't be flying again without repairs. Okay. This is us. This must be the outpost. I guess we finally get to see Grace's cantina. Okay. Come on. The point is, too, that the characters just weren't very good. Like, Fisheye Chick was bad enough, but little furry old man thing was not exactly particularly charming either. Oh. I guess we'll just... We'll, we'll leave the ship there for now. I'm sure it'll be fine. It's whilst so I go fight the indig Bravo indignant... Indignant? Like indigenous. Life I hear something trilling at me in the distance. I'm sure it's about to eat my flesh. Okay. What the? So Grease is on the other side of all this? Is that an enormous Mind fish thing there standing on his rear legs? Hey there. Uh, and binoculars. Yep, that is definitely a giant thing. That is one big beast. We have our target. Now let's reach it. Okay. Well, that was a very helpful video game. Thank you very much. It's like fish. Go to fish. Um. Okay. I apparently can't stand on that. I mean, it, it looks standable. It literally looks like I could just jump on over there, but... Very well, video game. Where do you want me to go? Uh, did I come from here? No. No, I did. God damn it. I feel like I could just go down there too, but... But it also understands connection down 50% and a few areas down like 32% by volume overall. Well, I mean, that is already a pretty, uh, pretty significant drop. 32% drop in sales is fairly major. Uncomfortable, even, one might say. I bet Last you they didn't see that one coming. Braca. It's like, let's do a quick little I'll virtue single out. campaign. It'll, it'll get us some sales, right? Say now. Come yeah. on. Mantis won't repair itself. Just hope Grease has the parts we need. In fact, it'll do the exact opposite. Oh, it was a bird. I'm pretty sure those are models from the first game, actually. The little bat things in the cave. Ah. Uh. Fucking droids? Why? So kind of Mandalorian or something, maybe. Show tactical guide entry. Uh, 
Oh, well, that was uh, very helpful. Raida Grunt. Hmm. All right. I do like the robot. The robot is cute. Or the Batman Raider. What? Kill him. You want that? That was quite clever. These don't look like any separatists I remember. Bedlam Raiders? What has Grey's gotten himself into? Well, it would be a little bit too simple if I could just, you know, go here and, you know, get the parts and Ready stuff. move on? No, we gotta do some, uh, mining, maybe. Stop that! You sure picked an interesting place to live. Yes, the fish around here are not only enormous, they uh they they walk on le two legs. On the surface. Those are indeed some curious fish. Oh. Take a look at that view. Is that a giant crater? Wow! I got it so easy. Guard the cliff, crush the locals, look at the scenery. Nobody's getting past me, not without a blaster hole in him. I wonder if I'll get promoted for doing such a good job. Then I'll get the other droids to guard the cliff. Oh, but then I won't see the scenery. Hmm, now that's a dilemma. Humor, chat. Dilemma solved. <laughs> to be fair, it's all right, humor. It's, it's not bad. Oh, that is not grabbable onto. Luckily, the vegetation on this planet is rather sturdy. Otherwise, you know, getting over here would be literally impossible. Another day, another droid crushed. Or maimed. Oof. You got goddamn bowel droids down here? Jesus. I think it's safe to say these droids have new masters. Some pretty damn hefty hardware. We're sinking. Ugh, gotta move. Okay. I just disappeared. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. This is I just, not pleasant. I still had my entire upper half over the the thing, and then just like despawns. That is not a tar. Your ass is sunk now, boy. Be careful. Okay. So they explode. Good to know. Yes, they explode and they come right back again. Huh? Okay. That is certainly an interesting piece of uh, scenery. Where am I going? Where am I going? Can I push you? Pull you? No, okay. Uh, well, that's yellow, so I'm presuming I'm supposed to be going over there. But there's nothing really... That was eminently predictable. Okay. Eh. Gotta keep moving. I mean, this is just gonna kill me. I'm pretty sure there doesn't seem to be anything over here. Oh, despawning in three, two, plop. I do like how the droid saves itself, though. It's like, Messer, can I climb this? Yep. Still not great. Nope. Can I? What's that floating on the surface? Examine it. Can I move this thing? No. Jump up there. 
No. Nope. The stuff gets everywhere. Examine this. No. Not feeling so great, BD. Uh, okay. Can I climb that? Uh, that's too far to jump. I mean, I did use the force. It doesn't seem to do anything much. Ah, double tap it. Thank you, chat. You know, I feel like I'd enjoy this game if the shortcuts were just unlocked already, honestly. Stuck ship, huh? Tell me about it. Wish we could help. We might be able to, but not right now, because there's a red icon there, which makes me think we're going to be returning here at some point. Oh, now you can activate it? Nice work. That'll save some time. Uh... Yes, indeed. <laughs> and what over there? Yes, over there. See, I feel like the previous comparison to Sekiro is a very interesting one because there is definitely a difference between traversing the terrain as a part of a story and traversing the terrain just to traverse the terrain. This game does mostly just traverse the terrain. Don't mind me. Oh. I said don't, but don't mind me. You could have lived. Well, lived. Hello, uh, monkey, rhino, thing. They see the bigger picture. He saw the bigger picture. Then he died. Yeah, that's explode him in impact. Almost jumped off the cliff there. are nothing but killers. Well, I don't know if it's nothing but killers, you know? They might have a reason for what they're doing. Some deep-seated motivation. Maybe they're just, I don't know, enormous racists and don't like people with hoods. Well, you're failing. Hello, are you my friend? You don't look friendly. Nope. You're not my friend. Why can we not be friends, you and I, giant pig orc thing? Yep, stuns. Gotta press the dodge button to get out of the stun thingy. I know, drink Estus. Mark Same says Google puts just put in random ad. Ah yes, that is a new feature of YouTube. It puts in random ads now. It's very featureful. Now, where am I? Where am I? Did I just did I get teleported ahead or behind? I'm not a Oh Jesus, I'm all the way back here. Oh, okay. Alrighty then. That's a walk. Luckily, I unlocked that shortcut. Pig or pork? It might be pork.
Alright. I need to be clicking these so I can establish bonfires. Because if I do not, I shall walk a great deal later on. Okay, right. live on fire. Let's go. See, that's a great suggestion, Green Tiki. Just get YouTube Premium. Unironically, just get YouTube Premium. See, I like that idea too, because it gives creators like me way more money. Way more money. Like, you would not believe the uh, the difference in income from YouTube Premium and regular views. It is like night and day. It is beyond night and day. It is really, really, really good. Which is why I'm so very, very sad that YouTube doesn't push it more, because it's great. Oh. Goodbye. They should reward people way more for having YouTube Premium, because they don't reward people anywhere near enough. It's YouTube, goddammit. They've got millions. They could, and should, give you all sorts of cute stuff for having Premium. They should be, uh, what, because they are, I think they, they give you some access to music, I think, but, I mean, they're hosting movies now. Give people movies. Give them access to more exclusive content. Like, they did exclusives with a handful of creators, but the issue is, there are only a relative few creators that they did it with, and the people that they did it with, well, amongst PewDiePie, they decided to cancel a few of them, too. And it's just kind of stupid. It should be far more broader. Maybe even just do like exclusive access things or early access things or ad free viewing, etc. You know? You could do so much with that. Alright, Glowy Cave Troll, round two. I really just need to hold down the block button a lot more in this game. Oh, was that it? Oh, I. Oh. Cave Pig. Yes, Goroko, close enough to Cave Pig. I really, I'm, I'm thinking too much like Sekiro, where I'm trying to do like the block all the time. I should just hold down the button, because holding down the button would be advantageous. A nest. Looks like it dragged its prey back here and. Raped them. Anally. Violently. Like, seriously. You don't want to know what that cave pig did to those poor, okay, poor people. Buddy. Cave pig takes prisoners. But you wish they didn't. I shall absorb these random slivers of things into my body and become healthier. Like, trust me, when Cave Pig goes a raping, you don't want to know how it happens. Cave Pig is a violent monster. It may not have any obvious genitalia, but that is just because its entire body is genitalia. Just need to find a way through he here. is one large genitalia. Be to see us, huh? Literally wearing his victims as a sort of flesh suit. It's oh, disgusting. You too. Slug, grub, mantis thing. Hello, stranger. Are you... Friendly. Because he doesn't die when I cut him. Good. If he was an enemy, he would have died when I slashed him with my lightsaber. Okay. Stop that. Nope, you're not supposed to jump over there. These larva creatures are remarkably aggressive for how completely and utterly useless they are. We're apex predators, some, you know, except for the pig thing. This is a nice one. Oh, don't go. Ah, there's stuff like this too. Talking about the idea of traversals, like, you also wander across the land to find things. 
And part of me is quite happy to find things, but another part of me too is just kind of getting on with the video game part of the whole video game. I don't necessarily care over much about customizing my lightsaber, frankly. Seeing as it's, you know, tiny and I can barely see it. Now, if you allow me to change the color of my lightsaber, I might be mildly intrigued, but beyond that. These old dams aren't held together by much. Is that a video game telling me that I should commit industrial sabotage against the old dams? I don't know, I feel like somebody's relying on this. Seems like somebody built this for a purpose, and me just trying to destroy it is not very kosher, frankly. Please let me go. We won't prospect in the gorge again. You hear that? No. Do it. Call it in. Another one down. Ravis will want to know. Roger, roger. Things weren't this easy in the war. Sir? Yeah, there's no challenge here. No fight. There's not a warrior among them. Just petty thieves. That's true. And retards. In my day, the enemy had some fight. Now, they all just reek of desperation and fear. I can't smell anything. My olfactory sensors appear to be offline. Do I even have olfactory sensors? I think it's olifactory, actually, but fair enough. <laughs> Ow! You were glowing! I didn't see because of the goddamn shading. How about you go in the... Oh. Okay. I was expecting for him to struggle at least a little bit before being pulled under, but no, he pretty much just drowned instantly. A roll of mine... Oh, this damn place. Oh, if I ever find out who made these things. All right, guard the area. There could be more of them. Yeah, sir. Sir! Oh, so I guess this means I'm in command now. Okay, that is mildly funny. It does annoy me that they turned the droids into just nothing but, you know... Jokes, essentially. Because the battle droids are actually really goddamn nice scary. That's the thing. Battle droids are really... Oh. Hello. Really, really goddamn scary. They've got a surprising amount of intelligence to them. Like, they are... You, I was they're, they're not bad at their job. Blaster. Like, they're relatively effective. They're relatively accurate. They're relatively fast and maneuverable. Battle droids are actually, well, battle droids, so even just the basic droids are actually pretty goddamn good at what they do. But they've turned them into jokes, which is a bit annoying, because they they weren't jokes in the first, uh, like in the in the prequels. They were actually pretty goddamn scary. Like, they kicked the shit out of the Gungans like it was nothing. The Gungans, too, by the way, are not actually all that unscary either. Like, can I loot that? No, I can just get it. That kind of annoys me, because I feel like one of Star Wars' greatest flaws in the recent Star Wars times, Disney Wars, and, and the prequels too, to a certain extent. Oh, is there a person here? Look what we found. What are you doing down here? Right. I expect you're exploring. Seeking treasure, seeking glory. And what would have it? There might be something right in front of you. <laughs> well, I'll have to come and grab it then. Is that a thing I can destroy? It kind of looks like a thing I can destroy. But it doesn't look like I can destroy it yet. Oh well, I'll have to explore the rest of the place. Don't so, think we can slice that. Well, let's actually talk about that for a second, because it's an interesting topic, right? The basic bitch little droids. 
They are a simple gun platform, essentially, able to maneuver across pretty much any terrain with a blaster with relative accuracy. All right. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty goddamn good platform, frankly. It's the rough equivalent. See, I saw your light there, boy, but I didn't quite react quickly enough. Just die. Thank you. I'm too wary of a roller mines now. That's how it's done. You definitely should be giving them a heavier weaponry, because it's a bit of a waste to just give them a basic Biot blaster when they have the capability to carry something significantly heavier than that. I mean, they're goddamn droids. Alright, I'm thinking I need to blow something up. Yep. That was the thing I need to blow up. Ah, tar. That was what it was. I thought it was oil for some reason. Uh, no. No BD. Uh. Well, it glows. Am I supposed to cut it? No. Am I supposed to pull it? Push it? No? Okay. Well, we'll just ignore it then. Ah, oh, goddammit. I'm right back here again. Uh, what was the point of this? Uh, what was the point of this? Can I blow up the other wall? No. Boy. That... Is that just going... No. Have I been here? Yes. Yes, I have. You should give it a heavy weapon. But beyond that, again, it's a fairly goddamn effective battle weapon. And it does no fear. You can program it with all kinds of tactics if you so choose. You can have it even carry out squad tactics. You can even give it command droids to increase its effectiveness in large-scale combat. Like, it's a damn good machine for what it is. And of course, it can be upgraded with this super battle droid, which not only have all the capabilities of the previous one, but actually does have that heavier weapon, which is brilliant. And, even better than just having a heavier weapon, it also has heavier armor, making it damn near impervious to blast fire as well. And with all of the benefits of the previous models. Then you've got the little roly-poly droids too. Like, you could literally build an entire army like out of nothing hard. but droids. That damn give you any ideas, BD? You can even use them to operate tanks. Uh, across the two reservoirs indicate, uh, nothing, as then the... the tooltip ends. Alright, so I am supposed to empty this by going down there? No, I'm supposed to empty it the other way around, I think. I mean, that glows. I don't know if the glow means anything. BD-1, over here. I'm presuming I'll get some sort of telekinetic trick to deal with the tar. Alright. See, if I blow that up... Yes. If we could blow up the dam, we can raise the tar level. I know! Like, that was pretty obvious. I know that! I'm wondering how to blow up the damn video game! I know I'm supposed to blow up the dam, I'm just wondering how. Again, the difference between traversal and... Like, I don't know, it, I, I guess it's a puzzle element. So it's like, oh, a puzzle. But it's not really a puzzle, it's... Find the thing in the environment that does what you obviously need to do. In this case, blow up the dam. So I need to find whatever item in the environment is required to blow up the dam. But that is more searching rather than anything else. Um, all right. Because we've got that over there. Can I drag one of the mines over? Let's try. 
I don't know if they've got a timer on them. I presumed they maybe did. Alright. Uh, all right. Okay, there you go. Come here, little doggy. Oh, did I get too far? Now there we go. There. Good enough. There. Good enough. That should do it. Let's keep moving. We're almost there. Oh, can I no longer grab onto that? No, I can't. Good. Personally, I certainly prefer simple traversal. I mean, Jedi Knight also had certain elements of this, but not to this degree. Then again, I haven't played the Jedi Academy games in absolute forever, so who knows. I might be misremembering, but I feel like there was not a whole lot of traversal in those games. You mostly just, you know, killed shit. Can I stand on this? No, I can't. Dum dum. Damn, I wish I had some kind of force powers to, you know, pull these very light and obviously pullable platforms across the tar. Damn, that it would have been super Maybe useful. We take up prospecting, huh, BD? Imagine, imagine what the force could do right here. Let's see what's over here. It's more uh, loot I don't really care about. Oh, Jesus, I really don't care about that. No, mullet, no, 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 thank you. All right. Uh, where to from here? Uh, well, it's yellow. Maybe it's climbable. Climbable? No. Don't tell me I came all this way for a mullet. Because that would make me rather sad. Chat wants mullet. Uh, chat, you you may not have mullet so, so easily. It is a mullet. It's rather disgusting, frankly. Uh -huh. Okay, I can climb these. Oh, I can climb some of these, correction. Some of these, indeed. Uh, I mean, that looks climbable, but knowing this video game, no, it's not climbable. It's like, it's, it's obviously climbable. Obviously, I can climb this. What? I am... I can obviously climb this, so at the very least, hold on to it. No. All right. Uh, is this climbable? This looks like a rope. No, that is not climbable. All right. Let's go back the way we came. What about this? Climbable? No. I literally came all that way for a mullet. Alright, giant retarded fish over there. Follow giant retarded fish. Well, 
BD is about to turn into a giant fish snack. Which is very tragic for BD1. Yeah, hey, don't worry, he can literally fly. It's, it's not a problem. Didn't I tell you to be more careful about who you scan? Come on. Should have left you in that rat tar nest. I would also point out, the reason why we're here is because one of our companions decided to make this entire place into some sort of a cantina. Somebody figured that this place would be the perfect location for a cafeteria. I don't know if I agree. You two little shits. I wonder if I could pull that off. Ah. I keep not looking at my fucking health bar. Because he's so tiny and small and down there. Yes, 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 yes. Respawn video game. Oh, god damn it. All the way back here. Run, 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 run. Please, game, give me more combat. I need to get used to the combat so I don't forget about the combat every five minutes and then need to run back to the combat because I forgot how the combat goddamn works. Just, just give me lots of enemies. Just drown me in battle droids. I'd prefer it. Because then I'd engage with the actual battle mechanics at some point. Maybe I'll even use the, uh... Oh, well, that was foolish. Foolish indeed. I'm Cal. I understand that you don't really know about me. It's... Ah. Nope, you cannot push the rocket back. I'm feeling weak, DD. That was not what I was intending! Why is my- Ah, my force power meter is empty, I'm guessing. Squeaky noises. Pull, pull, pull. Up, climb. Climb, climb. No climb. Are you sure no climb? That looks like climbable. Climb that? No. You draw a video game. That looks climbable. No? Okay. I don't want to play with you, snake thing. Oh, okay, that was not runnable. I shall have to play with the snake thing. Sorry, snake thing. I wanted to let you live, but the video game did not. That looks runnable. don't see any point in you being over here. There's an enemy over there, so I presume I'm supposed to go over there. And then run on that? And now where to go? Yellow means thing. Can I... Nope. I can't just 
jump up there either. Aha! Not supposed to do any of that. Supposed to go over here. And a wall run. And then that is apparently not climbable. Okay. Traversing, traversing, traversing. Nope. Green Tiki 220 says it puts the mullet on or it gets the hose again. <sighs> okay. Can I even put the mullet on just here? I can. All right. We shall cut Kyle's hair in the middle of nowhere. God, that is... That is absolutely god-awful. All right. Uh... Ah, I can be Obi-Wan Hano Kenobi. Nah, they've already murdered him. But I do like the white chick thing, though. There we go. It's fucking horrible. <sighs> right, we have a mullet now. Somehow. Some, for some reason, we have a mullet. I don't know why we have a mullet. But we have a mullet. Is that... Bugs. Yes. That is a funny thing. From Bogano. You think I can do that, BD? Murder the Boglings? No, I think he'd be cruel to murder the Boglings for no reason. Look, Boglings! I can use the Force to do what you can do too! We shall definitely kindle the bonfire. A mullet knight. Oh, heavens. A mullet knight and his furry friends. Not a bad change of scenery. Breeze's place should be around here somewhere. Somewhere. Yeah. Look at that. I don't necessarily know that his Look, place is around here it? somewhere, but... That your ship came down, Dredger Gorge? Yeah, we had some, uh, technical problems. Probably met the Bedlam Raiders then. Attacked us as soon as we landed. Hmm. Glad you're okay. Technically, I attacked Shall them. Around these parts. Looking up an old friend. Grease Drydus? <laughs> Grease? Oh, shoot, I know him. I, I run the stables in town. I my name's Mosey. I'm Cal. Well, Mosey, you're pretty ugly, too. Why are you cute, little but droid? I suppose, considering my hairdo, you are the only kind of woman who will approach me, so Likewise. I'll just have to take it. Well, path seems clear from here. Shouldn't get in any trouble. I should go looking for it. Oh, and, uh, say hey to Domodendra when you get in town. She, uh... Could you pull your lips a tiny bit further from your enormous Thanks teeth? For the advice, I, I can't quite see myself reflected in that enormousness yet. Just a little bit more. Just like... You can do it. I have faith in you. I have faith in Disney's character design. God, every single fucking character. Hey, didn't expect to see you so soon. Uh, I check out the stables. Look well, at that. These ain't it. I'm just tending Brutus here. He's an echo. He's Stables definitely not an echo. No. If you find a beast you want saddled, drop on by. I'll keep an eye on Mosey. Look Thanks. at that chat. Oh, I can give you a closer look. Look. Look at that. Look at it. Stare it deep into its dead soulless eyes. And realize that this, this is modern video gaming. Right here. And that is not an echo. How the- okay, right. I've got to object to this thing too. Its ass is tiny, but its four part is huge. Which means that this thing would tip over. Immediately. Just pfft, Nose in the dirt. Immediately. Like, there's a reason why the dinosaurs had tails. It was the offset to the weight of their little stupid four parts. This is not a functional bipedal design, and it annoys me. Plus, imagine riding this thing. Not that way, chat. But sitting on this goddamn thing, you'd make it even more center-heavy, and he would have no way to balance. This is a dumb animal, and it deserves death. That is all you need to know. Right, off I go to the quest hub. 
I don't like the dirty orange cape. I like the, the white vest, but I don't like the dirty orange cape I for some reason put on. Like, look, BD1, I found a piece of dirty orange clothing. I shall wear it as a, a cape for some reason. That was a bit violent. You know somebody owns that, right? That is one fuck of a home security Looks system. Like shard. You know, I no longer feel as bad as I did about destroying their fucking door. Come on, you blasted beast. Move! It literally can't. It'll tip over if it tries. It's dumb. Um. Okay, I'm supposed to go over there, and so I shall. <sighs> Pass the knot, Nichols. An Asian with a southern accent. Well, I'm sure they exist. You know, some Chinese people who went to really? Texas or something. It's like, I want to live here. And so they did. Oh, right. Can I have anything cool yet? Um, okay, so this is for single lightsaber nonsense. So I want none of that. Because... I don't like single lightsaber. Single lightsaber, gay. Only lightsaber is dual lightsaber. Gathering Tempest. What does it do? Okay. Vortex Dive. I don't even know what these things do, but they sound cool. Double Orbit. Endless Hurricane. It reminds me of the guy who was uh, the helicopter man who did porn movies by spinning on his penis inside of people. That was a thing. Controlled throw. Hmm. I like the sound of that. No, oh, it costs two skill points? Well, I'm I'm too poor for that. I guess I'll just make myself tiny a tiny bit healthier again. <sighs> Aha! He agrees again. A long time. He knows where the others ended up. Seems to be past. This is entirely normal. Pay me no mind, citizens. I'm just looking for a cafeteria. This looks like a cafeteria. That's not a cafeteria. Ah. I think this might be it. It looks run down and shitty enough. No, nope, that's literally a stable. Okay, well... A stable and grease as a cafeteria might be much the same thing. Oh, that one. You know, that's a lot fancier than I expected. And considering the reaction from everybody else to his food, I expected it to be, well... God-awful, frankly. Whereas this, I mean, this looks like a semi-respectable establishment. Shut up, Fuzzy. It was all just a misunderstanding. Let him go. Oh, partner. You don't want to mess with this mullet. Oh, gee, don't give me the side view. Do not give me the side view. We cannot do this thing. Sold us a price. Wow, that is one hell of a bionic cock you got of you there, sir. We have been searching for it's big, except 
Stealing on actuators Gosh. on the side. It's fake! I thought it was the real deal, Ravis. Honest! Oh. I believe you. But mistakes like these cannot be tolerated. Let this be a reminder of what happens when you cross the Bedlam Raiders. Kill him. Oh no! No! See, the problem is, I'm on the Raiders' side here because stupid Frog no. tried to screw them over. Walk away. Jedi. Not necessarily, but possibly, yes. Remind our friend here why his kind are supposed to be dead. You might have a lightsaber that can cut through literally everything, but I, I have an electrified stick. I feel like we are on equal footing, you and I, Jedi. You need stamina for that. Take that. Hold on, I'm out of stamina. I'm going to enjoy this. Oh, that button. That button? Oh, that button. Okay. Hold on, buddy. Oh. End of the road. Hold on, hold on, I'm recharging my thing. Seriously, patience. Oh, it doesn't recharge unless I hit him. Oh, that's tragic. Oh, that button. That button? That button. That button. Hey, hold on. I'm ecstasy. Ah, okay. If I can't kill you by spinning, I guess I'll just have to hit you in the face. It is considerably less elegant, and I oppose this manner of warfare. But if you absolutely determinedly demand that I kill you, we shall do it this way. Impressive. Next time you want to pick a fight, you go through us. <laughs> oh, what a delight to see one of your kind in action after all these years. Noble Jedi Knight. If you stay your hand, I shall withdraw in peace. Somehow I doubt that. Be seeing you. This is him, Delma. This is the one who stood up to the Bedlam Raiders. All right, that, that's enough, Turgo. Turgo, get over here. Yes. What the? You're okay. Dog? Well, yes, I am. You got a name, Jedi. I'm Cal. This is Speedy One. <laughs> but you may call me Mullet. Appreciate it if you kept this quiet. Hmm. Well, out here on the frontier, only way we survive is by sticking together. That's right. You didn't have to step in just now, but you did. Yes, you did. Turgle, hey. shut it. Hey. We'll keep your secrets safe. Cal, I'm sure we could both benefit from it. Thanks. Boss defeated. I don't know if I'd qualify that as a boss, but if you say so, video game. Right, I still haven't actually got into the thing. Ah, I'm not allowed to do that in here. Drinks ain't the worst, and if you're running from a blaster, better run a little faster. Run to Pi Loon Saloon, and we hope we see you soon. God, the mullet. The mullet makes everything just a little bit worse. What'll it be? Nothing. Thanks. Oh, well, that's a mistake. I'm looking for an old friend. Four arms. Harry. 
big mouth. Vertically challenged. You can come out now, old boy. The coast is clear. I tell you, Monk, the Bedlam Raiders are going to be the end of this town. We got no hope. Zero. Zilch. Nothing. How you doing, BD? Ah. It's like BD. <laughs> Comedy. Cal, Cal just get over here, you son of a bugling. Oh, 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 it's been a while. I missed you, kid. Hey. Let me look at you. <sighs> you look terrible. Yeah, it's good to see you too, Grease. True, I can't disagree. Hey, are you taking care of him? Are you taking care of the manis? Well, uh, we ran into some trouble on our last job. What sort of trouble? The Imperial kind. Oh, yeah, I should have guessed. They've been creeping around Kobo too lately. Jairo's burnt out on the mantis. We'll need your help to get moving again. Yeah, sure, whatever you need. Come on, grab some seat. Listen, Monk, get my friend something special to drink. Refreshments. One slippery Monk coming right up. Welcome to Pilude Saloon, the finest dive this side of Zeltros. <laughs> yeah, your description uh, didn't do it justice. Be a sand in your eye. Monk and I picked it up from the previous owner to a... Well, uh, well... He caught a fatal case of blaster poisoning, courtesy of the Bedlam Raiders. We've been introduced. You okay, Grease? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> as long as I don't have anything they need. Hey, what happened to the Manus? Oh, we are on Coruscant, gathering intel for Saw Gerrera. Things got bad. Only two of us made it out. <laughs> Everything I'm doing feels pointless. The Empire's only growing stronger. It is pointless. Literally, your entire story has uh, nothing to do with the wider story of Star Wars whatsoever. You're not even a two-bit yeah, side character in the larger story. Annoying, huh? Your, your you, entire pursuit switch, is dumb. Have Give you up. To her lately? Go home. Marin's always on the move, exploring new places, making new friends. I was talking about Seer. No. It's been a while. You? Well, her credits helped us get this place off the ground, but she hasn't visited yet. She's very busy with this new project. <laughs> hey, Cal. Why don't you relax a little before we fix the manis? The galaxy can wait a couple hours. Well, we should probably get moving as soon as we finish up. I got a spare room down in the basement made up especially for you. You should check it out. I like my right. belt buckle. I've also got the little revolver holster thingies in it. Like a revolver bullet thingy or holster thingy bing bing is in those little those little things in my belt. I don't know why, because I don't have a you know, a revolver or anything. But I have them. And if ever I find a revolver, I could put my bullets inside of that thingy. There's the kitchen. The basement must be through here. And when I do I will be a real Wild West gunslinger. Or something. It's a vibrating cactus. Gris always had a green thumb. That looks remarkably much like a ginormous penis. Well, that's cute and all, but I'd like to get on with the video game part of the video game. Maybe I could go and kill those people. The ones with the shock sticks. I'm presuming my objective is to murder them. Do I have an objective? Will you Where's give me the one? Room at again? The room? Oh, kid, you're gonna love it. Just take a right after the bar, through the kitchen, and down the stairs. You can't miss it. I literally right. couldn't. That's correct. Thanks again, Grease. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can thank me by getting some shut-eye. You really do look terrible. Alright, uh, fine, video game. I am required to sleep a bit for before we can get on with the video gaming of the video game. I shall go and rest my very wow. weary mullet. Grease really outdid himself. Maybe he can sell me to the Empire.
Heavy is the head upon which the mullet rests. Still talking in your sleep, huh? Black Jew says she just Guess looks like 90% of Asian women. Weirdo. I don't know, that's Weirdo. a bit mean. No. <laughs> Cruelly, though. Thanks for letting me crash here. Of course. Why do you think I've kept your stuff around all these years? I was hoping you'd stop by and maybe take a break. We both know what happens when Why I stay in one place too long. I mean, it's a desert. I'm presuming it's warm. We've got plenty of time to fix the madness. You are what I want to talk about. I'm fine. The sooner we get moving, the better. And then what? You're going to go find some trouble with Saw Guerrero? See. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. This I was, is what I was talking about at the beginning of the video. The if I activated the, the skip option, yeah, I, I would be skipping literally goddamn everything. <sighs> Listen. I know you all had your reasons for leaving. But walking away isn't <laughs> an option for me. You little shits betrayed me. I have to hold the line. And where's that guy in your cow? Uh, I wish things were different, but... You keep losing people. And you yourself said that the Empire is growing stronger every day. Now, maybe it's time for you to be something more than a lightsaber. Think about yourself. A Sound professional down, prostitute. A home. What? Home, Grease. There is no home. Home was the Order. It was my teacher. It was everyone I lost. What does their sacrifice mean if I go and I just give up and stick my head in the sand? See, I know you were dealt a bad. This is kind of the problem with this entire series. Somebody who had to learn the hard way. Cal you gotta know when to has no influence on man. anything. Otherwise, you are gonna end up losing something. He literally you can't do place. anything, and yet they keep going like, "Oh, Cal's totally gonna do something," even though we know he's not gonna do anything. They should have just given him a more personalized storyline right. instead. Like, even like, dealing with shit like the Raiders, for example, is not necessarily a bad story, you know? He could go and do something on a smaller scale, but instead he's like, I'm gonna save the galaxy, and we all know he can't save this the galaxy is because problem. that is literally somebody deal. else's job. Now you go ahead and look. I keep a lot of spare parts down there. I'm sure you'll be able to find whatever you need to get the Manus up and running. Thanks. I appreciate all this. Kyle, can I tell you I'm warming to the mullet, though. It's really good seeing you again. Like, it yeah, makes his incredibly bland and unmemorable yeah. face actually somewhat memorable. Grease. It is actually an improvement, unironically. I'll think about what you said. Because at least now he, he looks like a douchebag. Hey, uh, I don't have a tough douchebag, which is the best kind of douchebag. <laughs> I definitely have a pest problem. Let me guess. Your smuggler's basement is going to be full of various animals, and I'm going to need to fucking jump over all kinds of stupid shit and activate all kinds of dumbass stuff. Old smuggling tunnels, huh? Yes. He's always kept a few secrets up his sleeve. Come here, beady one. Ah, shit. I am very oh. sorry for your pain. Are these what spooked Grease? No. You're okay, bud. Have you been spooking Grease down here? It's all right. Okay. I do enjoy the option to fluff the cat bird thing. It's like... Smugglers tunnels. Like, bitch, this place is huge, and there is no way Grease would have been down here doing anything worthwhile. He's like five centimeters tall. He couldn't even traverse most of this terrain. Much less use it for anything actually worthwhile. It is instead another video game level in the video game. These tunnels for a long time now. Dusty and abandoned. But he keeps all of his valuable spare parts down here, you know? 
See, that annoys me. Like, he, he got all of this shit. He keeps supposedly all of his spare parts out here, but there's no way he could even access this place. Do you think that the monkey could jump over there and do this shit? Of course not. He'd barely survive getting through the entrance. Is that it? Well, that was rather stupid. Never look when you can leap, hey? Eh? Uh. Sooner we get to Greece, the sooner we can. We should check this out. Uh, oh, hey, look! It's an enormous complex thing. I guess it would be a little bit too simple if we could get back to, you Off know, the go. fighting Imperium thing. All right, we have discovered another ancient Jedi temple thingamajig. It almost reminds me of the Jedi training grounds. I know. It's different. That's because they are. Bounce. All right. Is this my reason for existence? Are we about to? Uh... Oh goddammit! I am. I do hate the whole fucking traversal uh, traversal thing. I really do. It's not even like there's a punishment for failing. You just fall for two seconds and you respawn anyways. But this might be the uh, reason why, you know, Cal is allowed to live still. And he's going to find something super special and he's totally going to do something behind the scenes that we just what didn't know about. Place? And it's totally going to be worthwhile. I mean, hell, I hope that's the case because the rest of what he does is actually pointless. So if he could have, you know, purpose, that'd be lovely. Power's still running down here. Let's see if we can hit the lights. What's uh, that? Oh, more of these. Uh... Ah, another bullshit mysterious ruin with bullshit architecture. Careful, BD. Look, BD, it's an enemy type. I came as soon as I could, Master Kree. I'm sorry it has come to this. Will it be a complete memory purge? No. Only what the Council demanded. Then at least, I shall remember you. I am ready. What is your name, droid? I am ZNA4, of course. How may I serve the order? Z. Tell me how to navigate the Kobo Abyss. I have no information on that in my memory banks. Master Kree, you are aware the Republic has issued a full-scale evacuation order. I am. Um, that is why I have a very important task for you, Z. Take this. A tuner? Oh, what a fine model. Oh, my! Use that to open the forest array. Travel underground. Stop for no one. That is an order, Z. Am I not coming with you? No. 
The key to Tanalor is in that array. If you do not hurry, I fear it will be lost forever. Tanalor? Uh-huh. May the force be with you. Better looking than bug eyes. You are correct, chat. Alright. I think this droid has been here for hundreds of years. I sensed it, sensed its robotic faults. Because the force can do that now. Your name's Z? Yes, it is. How did you... Oh, no! I'm trapped. I've been trapped for... How long has it been? I'm Cal. This is BD. We're gonna help you. Pleasure to meet you both. Some help would be most appreciated. Sure, I mean, I'll just... No, of course not. That would be far too simple. Um... Okay. Well, wait there, Z. I'm sure there's some doohickey thing I need to do to free you from this cable that I could simply cut. Right. Wall doohickeys? MacGuffins? Things? Balls? I do like balls. Balls? Balls. No balls. Hmm. Well, if there are no balls, I don't know how to help you. Only with balls could your life be salvaged. Hmm, that does not look jumpable. That does not look jumpable. That looks... Potentially climbable. But I'm not so sure it is. That is weirdly climbable. Black you asks, how is it battery still working? It's magic High Republic shit, okay? They just made stuff back then that was like stuff and stuff. Right, could I grab that ball and bring that ball over here. Yes. You are a Jedi. Or am I just this completely shot? Not completely, Z. I'm a Jedi, all right. Uh, that does but not look you're walkable. Not even wearing the proper I'm more of a poncho guy. Button. Oh god, we're gonna do more of this. Use the orbs to activate the bridge. Then you can reach the crane controls. Uh, I think? <clears throat> After so many idle years, who really knows? More than a screw loose. What was that? I oh. uh said hold tight, Z. It's another Jedi training ground. No! Ball! Thank you. We shall carry balls around for a while, I guess. Yeah, playing with balls is always fun. Please do it agree. Never took them. I was knighted in the field. And what was the reason for this flagrant breach of protocol? It's a long story. Ah, genocide. All your friends are dead. Murdered. Brutally. Well, actually, a lot fewer of your friends are dead than you would think. A lot of Jedi survived the whole purge thing. A frightening number of them, in fact. It's due to the creation of something called Disney. That a lot of people just kind of sort of lived. Despite not having any reason to do so. Trials or not, you've done it! Come here, I want to thank you face to face! 
including a tiny baby Yoda thing. Thank you, Cap. Don't mention it. <sighs> You'll excuse me. I didn't delay long enough. Oh. <sighs> Not now. Hold it together. <sighs> uh, mind if I take a look? Don't worry, I've got a welding tool. It will fix it right up. What's Tantalor? Hmm. A planet hidden within the Kobo Abyss. Hmm. It's home to a Jedi Temple. A bastion of the Order's light on the galactic frontier. Ah. At least that's what my master hoped Tantalor Perhaps I shall create a homeless shelter inside of the Kobold Abyss and hide from the Imperium in there. For now. Yeah, it would give me something to do at least. Gotta figure a way out of this place. Well, I can help with that. It's this. Was it that? No. Oh! Yes, it is this way. Follow me. Mark James says, I detest the Jedi refusal to acknowledge the genocide of the Sith. A meditation chamber. Master Kree designed these to train Jedi. I remember this. Don't recall what it does, however. Master Kree had a brilliant mind. Do you know her, Cal? Can't say I do. No matter, but I think she would have liked you. The exit is this way. I am very fortunate you came along. Perk. Did? Yeah, you could have been down here forever. The Jedi did genocide the Sith. I mean, they were trying to genocide each other, so, you know, it was sort of suicide. I'm suicide. It was sort of self-defense, in a way. Aggressive self-defense, admitted, but still. What's it like? Oh, what a wondrous place. How do I get there? Navigate the Kobo Abyss. That must be the knowledge your master purged from your memory banks. Well, she must have had her reasons. Yes. Her reasons are that now I need to figure it out so that I can create an intergalactic refugee camp. Ah, the super secret temple had an exit right outside the cantina. Lucky that nobody bothered to investigate this place, I guess. Yes. Don't worry. You're not alone. We'll help you get back on your feet. You might not be wearing the proper attire, but... Now I am certain you are a Jedi. Come on. I'll be there in a moment, Cal. Just wait on my behalf. Oh, so Yes, the architectural old strike is rather retired. I'm not a Bedlam Raider spy. I'm a friend of Cal Kestis. Cal, what's it? Look, I told you, buddy, you're in the wrong cantina. I don't know anybody named Cal Kestis. Hey, Grease. Oh, that Cal Kestis. Found the gyro. <laughs> you made it. Good to see you, Cal. Grease Dritus, this is Bodakuna. He was on Coruscant. Wouldn't have made it out alive without his help. Oh, yeah. all right. Hi, nice to meet you. Unfortunately, I don't think I have another bed available. Wait a minute. Another one? Cal, you have a very bad habit of picking up strays. I am ZNA4, humble servant to the Jedi Order. Oh, I take you haven't broken the news yet. She was trapped underground. I've never seen this design before. I don't know if he's going to be a bad guy, this dude. Because, I mean, we gave him a transponder signal to our ship. Cal, you have saved me, but I must ask more if he wanted to screw us, surely he'd just bring, like, an entire battalion with him and just, you know, kill us all or nuke the planet. I cannot fulfill that duty. Please. If I fail my mission, the key to Tanalor may be lost forever. That would be dreadful, wouldn't it? Wait a minute. Did you just say Tanalor? You've heard of it? 
Yeah, it's an old prospector's legend about a lost world filled with treasure. Treasure! This really proves it's more than a myth. Could be worth checking out. Yeah, but first, I gotta fix the menace before the raiders snatch it. I'll escort you out there. Watch your back while you make the repairs. Huh. Is he as tough as he looks? Next to Seer, he's the best marksman I've ever met. Okay. We'll take care of the manis. I'll go see what's in the forest. Thank you, Cal. As soon as I am in full operating order, I will join you at the forest array. Onward! Uh, Z. Whoa there, Heritage. While they're all sallying forth, why don't you ease up on the thrusters? Come along. I can get you tuned up, shined up, and, uh, <clears throat> caught up on the state of the galaxy. Cal, I'm going to lock up the saloon so the raiders don't trash it. My Use the back door, would you? Yeah, Cal. Use the back door. Can mute new residents who can help improve Rambler's Reach Outpost. Huh. I don't know if I want to. So, bartender, where's this oil bar? Strap yourself in. I fear this update might be a little hard to process. A little bad news. Well, where to start? Uh, okay, a few years ago, the Supreme Chancellor decided democracy was out of fashion and declared himself emperor. The Republic is no more? I'm afraid so. In fact, these days, you'd be hard pressed to name a planet free from imperial control. Calamitous indeed. Heritage, you're looking a little low on power. Let's say we pause a tick so you can regain your bearings. Yes. Perhaps that would be best. No, no, no. Tell her about the genocide of the Jedi, too. Ah, fine. We'll save that one for later. That can't be up to code. Even out here on the frontier. Ah, I guess that is not the back door he referred to. This is also not the back door he referred to. This stage has seen better days. Alright. Let's... Is the basement the back door he referred to? So this is supposed to be the player hub then, I guess. Where you can be all like, thinking about how you've uh, lived and done for stuff and... Yes, that was the back door. Alright. That's the gate Z told us about. Oh, better get going. Yes, I am going to keep doing this for a while, chat. Because it's funny, that's why. Ah, oh, damn it. I can't I can't helicopter like Ninth Sister did. How old are you? That does not compute. Time has no meaning to me. <sighs> Good talk. Why must you keep interrupting my pacifist run? Did you just drop that? Spin! It's damn difficult to be a pacifist in this galaxy. Everybody's so goddamn aggressive. You'd think they'd at least ask questions first, like, Hey, why are you here? What are you doing? Or snap! Instead of just killing you. But, no. No, they just pretty much try to kill you. Let's move, BD. Black Juice says, Hub Town Unlocked, Waste Time Engaged. Well, it's like I, uh, I appreciate the option to build up stuff like that. You know, in case if you get uh, deeply merged into the world, it's fun to like have a little base to build up. You know, stuff to do. Oh, it's another monster. Taking the shot. Lowering expectations. I 
Oh, it's a homing missile. Well, lesson learned. Personally, I just kind of want to get on with the, you know, storyline. These developers have what we call a little bit of a fetish for ambushing people, don't they? We're locked out. Somehow, I don't think that's a friendly thing. Mark DeShame says, Genocide of the Jedi is disinformation. It was the refusal to accept re-education in the true ways of the Force. A little bit of genocide has never hurt anyone, though. <laughs> That gets me right back where I started. Okay, well. There's nothing of particular note this way. Except for that thing. Can you patch me up? Which I suppose we're gonna fight. Come here, thing! Oh. I guess that's the same as glowing red, just, you know, in blue. Are you immune to force pushing? Of course you are. Well, that's unfair. Dodge, bitch. Go. There, I emerged into this otherwise perfectly harmless life form who was just having a bath. I don't know why I killed it, but I'm sure there was a reason. The reason was something. Something. More priorite. Wonder what this will fetch a dumbest shop. Ah, I killed them for its uh, golds and jewelry. Okay. Well, at least it didn't die for absolutely nothing, you know? That's something. It would have been a little bit soul crushing if it had died for absolutely no reason. Apocalypse Agon says, Hey Arch, just got done reading Storm of Iron. That was real good. Hawk is amazing. Also would love to... Would you happen to know if Colonel Leonid is still alive? I don't think so. Um, there's a... It's, it's been too long since I read it. But I think a couple of them lived. Because the whole little demon engine thing. Um, that was revealed in Ultramarine. That at least a few of the guardsmen did survive. You will not stand in my way, silly droids. Literally, you will not stand in my way. Ah, melee battle droid. Because, you know... They, they weren't useless enough before. You had to give them a melee weapon. Because one of the issues with Star Wars, melee weapons in Star Wars really has no real reason to exist beyond giving the Jedi something to bonk in close quarters combat. It's like these electro weapons, for example. Like, 
you could just use a blaster. I suppose you could argue, like, uh, you know, cultural differences. Like, they just like their electro weapons. They just enjoy the act of bonking things, maybe. What of a low tech weapon? But really, blasters would have been much better for them. Or at the very least, they should mount a blaster inside of their melee weapons, you know, give them a little bit of that whole custodies thing. The array should be out here somewhere. The only way forward is to cut through. Wow, something my lightsaber can actually cut. Too, BD. Very unusual. We're not alone out here. Looks like it's blocked. Sit tight, BD. Let me see what I can do. Yes, it couldn't be quite that easy, could it? No, no, BD. We must do stung. Oh, it's a battle chicken. Huh. We must do things first, BD. Whoa. There you go, Another BD. Shot. That fixed it. Actually, it didn't. I don't even know why I did that. Ah, to go, BD. yes. Let's try that again. That's definitely how rocks work. You can just kind of push them back into the wall again. Yes. Oh, the battle chicken has an for unblockable attack too. I feel like nothing should really be unblockable for a lightsaber, especially not a chicken. Oh. Oh, of course. It's like, oh, it's a tiny stream uphill. I couldn't possibly. Very well, video game. We shall take the long way, whatever it may be. Some of these rock columns are loose. Are they? Okay, run around, pressing the force on many things. Is that a runny thing? Yes, it is. Ah, uh, fucking. Like, you got a, you got a wall run because the creak is too much for our mighty mullers of Jedi Knights. The Jedi's greatest weakness indeed. A tiny bit of water. Only one way to find out. Rakali says, I like that they are making games about the Finno Korean hyperwar. That's such an underrated setting. I don't think they saw us. Let's move. I wish this was about the Finno Korean hyperwar. I wish anything was about something else. Well, at least we're going towards ugh, possibly discovering a purpose here, so that's something. We haven't discovered a purpose yet, mind you, but we might be on the way to finding one. Hopefully it makes all of this traversing worthwhile. I probably should upgrade my force powers. Attunement. Uh, Greater hold. Confusion. I don't want that one. A radial push, howling push, parry push. I like that one. That one could be potentially pretty cool. That, I don't care about. But the parry push could be interesting. Time to move. Hey! 
Okay, there are Imperials here. Okay. Oh, you've got a shield. I guess that means I need to do something else. Can I take your shield away? I don't know about that. Hmm. Hmm. Dodge around? No, he seems to move pretty quickly. Ah. I was thinking too much. Just hit him is the solution to the problem. All right. They must have shot this drop pod all the way from the Lucre Hulk. Well, now I'm immediately more suspicious of our uh, friend again. What? Didn't I just recharge my health? Hmm. Because suddenly there are Imperials on the planet. Now, the little forearm... <coughs> it's here. Mm. Excuse me. The little forearm fuzzy Stop. thing did mention that they'd been poking around here recently, so I suppose it is possible that they are here completely by accident. By Koinky Dinky Winky, but, uh, hmm. Gah, indeed. Oh. Get a drop on these bucket heads. I would prefer to kill the one with the shield video game. Can I not play kill the one with the shield? The video game has thought this over. He's elected to not let me kill the one with the shield. This is probably quite clever, actually. Ah. Uh -huh. I figured maybe I could be, like, all clever and stuff and have the uh, lightsaber, like, spin around him and hit him in the back, but that was t a little bit too clever. I do wish BD-1 would just scan shit automatically. Generations of Raka raised their young here. Then the Empire tore through, shot and trampled anything that got in their way. Hmm. Rockers are aggressive, belligerent creatures. Of course they're belligerent. We're invading their home. Also, wasn't I supposed to be able to, like... Ah, that's how you throw it. Okay. And little Kib is in chat, too. Don't worry about me, Stormtrooper. Worry about that thing. There you go. I love how you can block its enormous body charge, but, you know, getting in the way of its headbutt, that's a bit too much. I also love how this animal's primary mode of aggressing upon a intruder in its neighborhood is to try and lay on top of it. You're the best. How did you like this game then, Kib? For me, it's, um... It's bland. It is bland. Like, I feel like I have no connection to it. Thanks, BD. And combat's okay, but there's too little of it for it to really hook me in and intrigue me. Especially when I'm just killing like two or three stormtroopers or a big armored thing. And the story, well, I haven't run into a story yet. I've been playing the game for three hours and 40 minutes, and all I know is that there might be a planet somewhere that I could possibly turn into a homeless shelter. 
need to pick me up. Oh, that Just was a waste of time. time. Uh, three. I sure hope this planet will be worth it. I can grab that. Lucky. Ah. This is a gay rock that'll retract into the mountain. Before she was damaged, there's no way Z could have made this journey. Uh, yes, of course, there. Let's the use it. There was no empire to contend with. What I would give to see a glimpse of that galaxy. I mean, screw the empire. Like, I feel like the journey in and of itself would have been impossible for a droid. I mean, Christ. Uh, easy, easy. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh, don't worry. I'm just here to molest your no fluffy fight. animal thing. I, I don't want to talk to Toa. Fuck off. A shortcut. Lovely. Well, yeah, why did you do more. that then? Spy droid. That was very Someone stupid. Out here. Uh, Maybe the Raiders. Let's try not to end up like that guy. The Wampa thing is like kicking their ass or something. Oh no! Run away! What? There we go. Whee! Ha, Mr. Wampa thing. You didn't see that one coming, did you? Why are there Wampas in this planet, by the way? Like, is that normal? Foolish Wampa. Ah. Uh, stupid Wampa. Dumb Wampa. Bunk. I wish I could hit it in the face of my lightsaber. Just as I swung by it. That would have been mildly funny. What do you say, buddy? Up for a little detour? No. I am not up for a little detour. If that's if that's not where I'm supposed to go, I ain't going in there. Uh Alright, player location. My immediate objective is apparently to kill the Wampa. Okay. Fine. Kill the Wampa, we shall. Actually, give me my uh Give me my two lightsaber thingies. Oh, that was a jump attack. Ow, buddy. Jesus, that barely healed me at all. Okay, well, there you go. <sighs> Like, most of my attacks go right through your block. Why do I have a block? Oh, you are Raiders kidding like me. I... you... Uh, okay, well, at least there's a shortcut, I guess. God, I feel like this game just... Why? Just give... Unlock the shortcuts immediately. Because what are you achieving by making the player waffle around the place for so long? Huh. Maybe I just don't get it. That's entirely possible. Maybe I just don't understand the, the charm of wandering around and doing contrived puzzle things. Perhaps. It's entirely possible. Likely even. Maybe even like the even maybe. Oh, that's the jumpy thing. Don't let go of the block button. The block button is your friend. Uh, 
I feel like it was trying to give up there at the end. It's like, I surrender. Jedi do not accept surrender, beast. And then stab you through the neck. Mark the Shame says, Twi'lek females are so breedable. Are they? I don't know. Their weird little tail things have always freaked me out a little bit. I'm supposed to go up there. Did I just kill that poor animal for no particular reason? Oh. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Fair enough. Do do do. Wandering through the mountains. Focus. What also kind of annoys me is. I kind of, I quite liked the initial start where you had the companions, because that was kind of neat, because you felt like you were on a bit on an, of an adventure, right? I still hated the goddamn traversing, but you could look around a bit and do certain things with certain characters, and they would do things for you, and you got a little bit of a relationship with them. Then the game killed them all, except for the guy who's probably going to betray you. I wish they would actually here. continue with that. Like, give me Goth Girl. I would like to adventure with Goth Girl, that'd be interesting. And then throwing more combat, less traversal. Or if you're going to do as much traversal, do more traversal with the companions, maybe. I personally, I just prefer less traversal all around, but, you know. Oh, were they not supposed to jump into that? Hmm. No, I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to grab onto that. And I hope. There we go. Looks like a data disk. All right. Is it valuable? Is it useful? In exchange for the reward at the right place. Is do I do I want that reward? Do I do I care? Is it a skin? Because if it's a skin, then I really don't care. Right, okay, maybe I wasn't supposed to go up there after all. That's locked. Yep. Oh, wait, isn't it? It's okay, BD. We'll yeah. find another way. I thought so. Uh, things, stuff. I can feel that most of my time with this game so far has been, been running around in circles looking for the thing that I'm supposed to use to get onto the next thing so I can run in circles in a slightly different location. Uh, is it down there? See... Again, that looks jumpable, but I know this game well enough now not to try. <laughs> Alright. Was that it? Am I, did I just go here for no particular reason? It certainly does look like it. No, it's probably like a... Uh, I'm supposed to go back here later when I arrive from a thing or something. Alright. Uh, Joseph says, Combat looks fun, but way too sparse, in my opinion. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling the same thing. It's like, I like the combat. It's just, I wish there was more of it. Because there were some really cool scenes in Kurasan where you were fighting a bunch of enemies, and I was thinking, like, wow, cool, okay. This is going to be a pretty harsh combat system with tons of opponents, and, well, the tons of opponents never really materialized again. Now we're on some backwater planet fighting droids and Tusken Raiders or something. Race close. Just a forest full of beasts and Imperials to get through first. <laughs> Thing. Let's hope we don't need it. My Estus overfloweth. All right, so it wasn't a detour. I was supposed to go over there all along. Hi. 
fuck is my Angus? Unless is there a path of a... Uh, no. Right. Into the belly of the whatever we go. <laughs> Welcome, Jedi. Centauri Cree. The path that we must walk is not always immediately visible to us. I wish it was. Patience, careful thought, and the wisdom of the Force will the way appear. Oh God, it's a puzzle temple. Bum, 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 bum. You see, the Yedai, they built an ass load of temples across the entire galaxy where they could train their younglings in stupid jumping puzzles. Because only through jumping puzzles can you master the force. If you cannot do jumping puzzles, you cannot be a Yedai. It is impossible. Uh, oh, I was probably supposed to... Wait, no, I supposed to put it in there? Or could I put throw it over there? I think I maybe was supposed to throw it over there. Was I supposed to throw it over there? No. You know how in the movies you got the little scene with Yoda teaching the younglings how to, like, swipe that little dumbass robot thing with the little blaster thingies? That's how I envision Jedi training to be like. But no, that is not what Jedi training is like. Jedi trailing is enormous death trap dungeons like this, where the slightest misstep will send you plunging 5,000 meters to your death. Like Jesus, the attrition rate amongst Jedi must have been absolutely disgusting. So, they believe something is behind the abyss? That's right. A planet. A planet. Well, I hope it's worth all this effort. Yeah, me too. Me too. I bet you they used to, like, lock the younglings up in these fucking temples. Oh, I'm back here again. Jesus Christ. And they would be like, hey, you don't get no food unless you finish all of your stupid Jedi tans. Like, just to get to dinner, you had to get through, like, 15 of these ball puzzles. Okay, well, I can't bring the ball with me. I thought like, maybe I could bring the ball with me. I've never known Centauri Cree to shirk like, from a challenge. Getting to the cantina, no. ball puzzle. She seems getting to your bedroom, by ball puzzle. Task. Getting out of bed, ball puzzle. Getting to the toilet, ball puzzle. You best hope the ball puzzle to the toilet wasn't too difficult or you weren't in too much of a hurry because if you were, well, you'd just actually piss yourself. Right then and there. And all of the other Jedi Aspirants would just look at you and laugh like, Look at him, he failed the pee puzzle. What a tard. And to be fair, you know, he did fail the pee puzzle. Uh... I cannot see the ball I am supposed to retrieve to solve this particular part of the puzzle. And I cannot bring this ball with me, for the ball is not cooperative. Can I toss the ball up there? Am I supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to climb up here. I feel like that's just bringing me back to what I was though. Yep, yep it does. All right. You want a Snickers bar? Bar a ball puzzle. I'm gonna use the elevator. Ball puzzle. Wanna leave? You're not allowed. Just, just straight up like no. You will stay here, child, until you have solved the ball puzzles to our appreciations. To our appreciant, to our satisfaction. That was the word. Um, I don't see a ball. If you don't give me a ball, I don't know what to do. 
Like, my entire understanding of Jedi culture is based on that, that there will be balls. But you are not giving me any balls. And so I do not know what to do. All I see is a lever. But no balls. Where my balls be? Nope, the elevator remains an elevator. Can I go under there? No. Okay, so what the fuck are we doing? Is there anything climbable? Um That looks sorta of pseudo runnable. But how to get up there? Uh, now nah, that's gotta be for the other way around, surely. That does not look runnable, and even if it did, what would it gain me? Nothing. Nothing in the nearby environment looks immediately climbable. Was there something I missed in this room? Does anything here look immediately climbable? Wall runnable? No. Can I swing on the rope? I cannot swing on the rope. I tried bringing the ball. Maybe I try bringing the ball again. Nope. You cannot take the ball out of that. Can you take the ball out of that? Okay, I may bring that ball. Black Jew says you have the IQ of a Jedi. Well, that's nice. No! Ball! That was close. I mean, literally, I imagine this was all the Jedi were doing back in the day. Just walking around, carrying the balls to go everywhere. Balls, 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 almighty balls. Balls, 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 balls. balls. Jedi Survivor, the quest for balls. I was supposed to be on that. Ball survivor. The only way to survive is to balls. If you do not have the balls to balls, you will not balls. You will die ballless and unhappy. Well, that is a dead end. Let me guess. I need to bring the balls. Um, can I see the balls from here? Can I... No. Can I bring that ball with me? No. Is this a ball? This is not a ball. This is a magic plant. There's a ball dispenser over there. Balls. Balls. Balls! Oh, I'm supposed to, no, 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 hold on, hold on. I think I'm supposed to go over here. Because here there's a runny thing. Um, what will the runny thing gain me? Not sure. Okay. Yeah. Like, imagine, this is what you have to do to get to the bathroom in a Jedi temple. Alright, I bounced off the wall. Is there a ball here? Please, video game, grant me a ball. Didn't you want to scan something? A little robot chicken thing? What'd you find? Ah. This was where somebody took a break from balls to go and play with uh, actual balls for a bit. I love his rendezvous. Disc. I bet Z would have some use for it. Would she? You know, I wish the robot could come with me, because the robot could probably be like, Oh, silly Jedi, didn't you do this there? It's the ball trick. My Padawan is impatient. Weren't we all once? The question is, how will he overcome it? How will we overcome impatience? Have you ever 
wondered whether impatience is actually a bad thing or whether or not it's actually a good thing. It could simply just be a drive to get to where he wants to be. I feel like the game is, is, is trying to be very clever with me, like, you must be patient, young Padawan. Run around, find the balls. But, but video game, I'm not sure I wish to play with the balls anymore. All right, that is not a ball. And we jump over there, and we will run over there, and we're back to where we began. Okay. Why am I here? Uh, in search of balls. Okay, so... We run over there. And we go back here. And I need to turn... That on. Which I do how. If I turn that back on, does that benefit me in any way? Not that I can easily tell. Alright, so reuse the balls. We have a ball here. Where could this ball serve us better? Uh, if we pick this ball up... Uh, could I... No. No, I could not. When I pick the ball up, the path disappears, and so I will not be able to go forward. Can I pick up that ball from here? I can pick up that ball from here. Okay. Like, every student is granted two balls. The left and the right ball. And he must use these two balls to do everything he... No, 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 no. Ball, 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 ball. Thank you. All right. I, I have acquired one ball. I need the second ball to get over to that ball. But maybe that ball unlocks something. No, but it unlocks a path over here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Great balls of goop. And there's not a single enemy down here. Okay, but I already got over here by wall jumping. Video game. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. That is too far. Oh, sweet baby Jesus, now what? I need to get the other ball, don't I? Ball, 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 ball. I cannot reach the ball from here. But I can use that ball to... No, I can't. I was about to say, I can use that ball to set up that ball. No, I cannot. How do I transport this ball above... above oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, but... Wait, no. How do I... Oh, God damn it. Because if I move the ball, then I can properly grab the ball from up there. But now I can't get over there anymore. Oh, but you were fizzing! Are you telling my ass to run? You're telling my ass to run, don't you? I thought fizzing meant non-functional. And certainly, in part, that is what it means. Alright, and we're back over here again. All of this, just so I can take a fucking shit. The road to the toilet has never been this long. At least if it was to the girl's dormitory toilet, that would be some sort of an excuse. Like, ah, Master Kenobi, how do you make your students engage with a ball puzzle? Oh, you see, I make the balls unlock the toilet. We all do that, Master Kenobi. What else? The girl's toilet. Brilliant. This is why you are our finest mind, Master Kenobi. Okay, I have the ball. Now I must put that ball into that thing, I think. But how to put the ball into the thing? The ball cannot go through the goop. Can I rebound the ball off the wall? I don't think so. 
Uh, can I jump over there? Maybe. Is there somebody thumping in here I can put the ball inside of, perhaps? No. No, there's not. Uh, fall down there? Oh, but then the ball falls as well. And then the ball reappears all the way over there. Okay. Um... Do I need that to get over there, though, or could I use this? Can you go over there? No. <sighs> Balls. Bring ball, bring ball, bring ball. Ball. And now I must find a home for ball. Can you throw ball from here? I mean, you should be able to, but I have a sneaking suspicion that you can't. No, you cannot. Goddamn riveting fucking puzzles. Part is I know what I'm supposed to do, but I don't know how to do it. Because if I fall down there, then ball falls down too. Uh, can I throw ball over there? I oh god! So I can throw ball all the way over there, but I cannot throw ball over there. Why? It's like oh, but that ball is uh, closer. No, no, it's not. That's that ball further away. That ball much further away. Dexterity. Please tell me I am through with the balls. May I leave now? Let me guess. This just looped my ass right way back to the beginning, didn't it? <sighs> that was... Uh, I hate this video game. Like, why? That was... I. All of that for a fucking dexterity thing. Like, I don't care about the fucking dexterity thing. At all. Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Hold button down. Cannot merely click button. Must hold button. Oh, I can't go up there now, can I? Can I swing up there? Please tell me I can swing up there. It sure looks like I can swing up there. No, of course not. All right, video game, where do you want me to go? Over there. Hello, Mr. Bantha thing. That was a bit cruel and uncalled for. Uh. God. Because everything is respawned. Oh, 
all of that for a fucking sideway detour. Okay, you want me to go back? And now we're to video game. Like back, back. All right, and now we're back to the goddamn stim canister. Back here, but I've been here. <sighs> Dexterity with balls, indeed, chat. You have been rewarded for playing with your balls. With the dexterous perk. Well, I mean... Looks old. So you might want to take a look at this. That's certainly true. You can become very dexterous by playing with yourself and your balls. Like, I want to go over there because I could clearly walk on that. Like, it is so obvious I could easily walk on that. I could walk on that, jump over there, jump over there, voila, but... No. Just invisible wall that pushes my ass off. Because I need to find the one path in the environment that the game developers decided that I needed to go through. Can I jump up there? No. Why not? Because no. Can I jump up there? No. Why not? Because no. Can I jump over there? Nope. Ah, <sighs> the soothing music does not capture my uh, inner spirit right about now. Alright, did I miss something when I went this way the first way? Um... I mean, I was in here, and there doesn't seem to be any point of advancement. Well, no, it, it's not the first game, just with balls. The other game had balls, too. It had larger balls. It had bigger ball puzzles. But I feel like there's even more traversal in this one. Like, fuck, I just want to kill something. Jesus Christ. I want to get used to the combat system. Because I need to immerse myself in a system for a bit to actually, you know, figure out how to do it. And the game seems to not be interested in allowing me to fight anything. Okay. Where the... Okay. That's the objective. But that just points me back to where I was. It's like, I can go down there, but I have no... <sighs> Whee! Hello, Mr. Wampa thing. I guess we're gonna fight. Oh. Hey, it's that thing from the movie thing, where you cut off the wampas like arm and shit. I do hate that you get locked into those animations. Wampa down. Okay. And then you're telling me, go back. Was this, was this entire path, was this entire fucking section of the game just a goddamn side tour? Oh, sweet baby Jesus, do not tell me it is so. Do not fucking tell me it is so. Oh my Jesus, it was, was holy mother fucking Jesus Christ almight on a fucking platter of shit. All of that was a fucking sidetrack. Oh, heavens. Like, I am taking my frustrations out on you little fuckers. Just... Die. Die in pain. What does the Empire want with a backwater planet like Kobo? 
The same you thing one. you want with it, retard. The secret planet of bullshit. Find something, buddy? Could you open the box? Thank you. I need you. to use this. Crew cut. No, I'm quite fond of the mullet, in fact. The mullet is more my spirit animal. Wait, doesn't this just lead me back to... No. Okay, well... Alright, more wildlife to slay. Hello, fatty! I know, I know, you haven't done nothing to me. I have no reason to do this to you. But the video game has told me that you must die. And so... Now, so it must be. Hey, buddy. Fat fucking cow thing. Kill the fat fucking cow thing. There. Another. What the fuck? Right. Another innocent animal murdered. For no particular reason. Environmental effects. The array should be up through there. Think that creature is a heavy sleeper? Oh, I think he's sleeping pretty fucking heavy right now. A chicken thing. Like Drew says, you need to talk to the whammon thing. I... Do I... Do I actually need to go all the way back there to talk to the fucking... I don't wanna know. I really don't wanna. Come on, buddy. I don't feel like it. Oh. Hostile creatures spotted. We were just trying to defend our younglings from aggression and violence. It doesn't matter, I'll kill you anyway. I'm just that sort just of guy. A brutal monster. And then what? Pull out the thing and... Is there anything to climb? Aha! There are two of them. Pull out the one thing. Then pull out the other thing. And do them quickly enough to get over to the thing. Oh, god damn it, video game. Of course not. Of course I can't pull it out at the same time. That would be... Oh, you can die? Oh, I thought you were a natural hazard or something. Mighty brave Jedi adventures! Oh, it's a runny wall. Of course it's a runny wall. PD, help please. Pull out thing. Pull out other penis thing. You know, I feel like this game is very phallic in nature. You're pulling giant penises out of the walls. You're playing with balls for a dexterity bonus. I feel as if the developers hadn't jerked off in a while, and that's why this video game exists. Don't know what that stuff is, but definitely doesn't look safe.
Ah. It's hard to breathe. The stormtroopers, with their environmentally void-sealed suits, apparently breathed in whatever the hell that bullshit is. Okay. Environmental hazards. Oh. All right. Luckily, I suppose the environmental hazards only uh, go to a certain alt altitude. You know, I'm a fucking Jedi. I could probably just jump over this. Over the blueberry bugs or whatever. Uh, the hell did... <sighs> it's, it's, it's not even a puzzle. It's just a thing. It's like, hey, this is going to slow you down for a bit. Run through it, okay? Alright. What is the shortest path over to the thing? Is it that thing? Do I need to step on that thing? Can I climb this thing? No. Can I jump on this thing? Uh, no. Alright, is this a shorter path to the thing? No. In fact, I'm pretty sure I just died there before I could actually reach it. I know a document says this is the death stranding of Star Wars travel. It really kind of does feel like it. Okay, can I push this thing? No, because that looks like a pushable thing, you know, to create a bridge knoll. No? Okay. Can I pull anything? Oh, it's because that's a red heading. I'm supposed to go in here instead. Ha ha, go over to the platform. Don't go over to the platform. The platform is literally a trap. Oh, that was not what I intended to do at all. Ah, Jesus. Drop to wall, climb, 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 climb. I do like the fact that the developers had the wherewithal to actually leave the, uh, the platform over there, though. Because they knew people would see the platform and go like, Oh, well, obviously you're supposed to go to the platform. It's clearly within reach. The game developer is like, nah, it's not. It's the vines on the ceiling that you're supposed to get to. I, uh... What even are these things? Why are there blue petties just flying in the air eating people? And apparently being able to eat through void-proof, environmentally sealed suits of stormtrooper armor as well. And some pretty goddamn fucking aggressive blueberries. This is the work of Santari Kree. Is it? If the rest of Z's story is true, the key to Tantalor should be around here somewhere. What the fuck even is Tantalor? It's like, oh, it's a treasure planet. Is it? Why do I want to get it? What need do I have of treasure? Like a short period ago, my only thing was like, right, fix the mantis and then get back into the war. And now I'm like, well, you know, if there's a treasure planet out there. Power's out. This place must have been abandoned. And forgotten. You don't say, Cal. You don't say. All these years later, and she never gave up on her mission. We can't let her down. Gave up. She's she's a droid. She doesn't know any better. Well, imagine it wasn't that she didn't give up. It's that she's literally incapable of giving up, and she was stuck. Oh look, a boss. More hapless wildlife for me to brutally murder. I think that creature is trapped. I oh, can't maybe cut not. It free. Oh, is it a friend? Let's pass under it for now. It might be a friend. I might cut it free, and then it'll be like, "Friend, your mullet is remarkable." I'm like, "Yes, yes, it is." 
good of you to notice, bird creature. And then it'll Open kill the some side. Imperials for me by banging them with his beak. It's a pretty good storyline I've come up with, huh? Oh, yes, this place is abandoned and forgotten, which is why the stormtroopers are here. Apparently, the stormtroopers are a lot better at uh, this than I am. Are they a surprise, I suppose? We are the aggressive birds of this planet. You will not pass. Our violence will not be seen or satisfied so easily. No cutting through this stuff. Why? Why is there no cutting through this stuff? Why is it late cyber in fucking resistant? It's it's one of the same things with the um, with 40k and power armor, right? Power armor is so good, nobody can penetrate it. Except for every 2-bit Xenos Empire the Imperium has ever encountered. Except for every weapon system the Imperium has ever created. It's the same in Star Wars. The lightsaber is so incredibly good that it can cut through anything, except everything. Da, 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 da. Batman Claw. I'd rather play Batman, honestly. There were some traversal sections in Batman 2, don't get me wrong, but, uh... Not quite to this extent, I don't feel like. Oh, is that not? I mean, look at that! That is so obviously climbable! Obviously, I can grab onto that! I... I do hate the obtuseness of this fucking... It's like, I can clearly grab onto that. It's a crossbeam! I am climbing this other thing with my fucking fingertips! Look, look at this! This! This is corroded, rusted metal, which I am climbing with my bare fucking fingers. Do you have any idea how much this is gonna hurt? Like, Jesus, I am hanging by my fingers by what is probably razor-sharp, rusted metal at this point. The amount of tetanus I have, <laughs> I have at this point is ridiculous! But a crossbeam! No, oh, sorry, that would be far too difficult. All right, map. Where am I going? Um, down there? No, up there. Uh, Matt T says, love your work, watch the Skaven RP, and no, it's cancelled. I've heard mention through the Skaven RP previous campaign, like Lurking Hunter, but I can't find it. Where should I look for it? Long yeeted uh, to the mists of time, by and large. I'm sorry, my friend. Um, I think it might still be somewhere on the uh, channel. Or at least it was before it uh, the whole hacking incident. But I don't even know if it is anywhere. At the least, not in full. My like old internet history. It's like the uh, the Crusader RP. It too is mostly mostly gone. Jared Liang Yang says, I played Arkham Asylum and the climbing felt better in that old game. It's like... It's just climbing. It's... It doesn't need to be anything special. Alright. Am I going the right way, video game? I am. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's not slashable. Hey, it says I'm supposed to go down here. Door is locked. Won't open. Uh, can I jump over there? I don't think so. I mean, that looks climbable, but... Oh, I can. Okay. See, the inner... The, this is why. Like, people mock um, Resident Evil for making everything interactable yellow and shit like that. But, bird! Dumb bird! The thing is, they do that for a reason. Might be able to help you later. 
They do it because it won't confuse the player as to what he is or is not able to climb and lock onto. That thing sheds. Oh, really? It's his... Really? It's it, it's it's dandruff that's killing everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, that does not sound reasonable, video game. I do not think that animal's dandruff can kill every human on this planet. Something Bird too. Has a big appetite. <laughs> Oh, hello, Wampa. Excuse me, actually. No. I need a second, Wampa. I wasn't really ready for a, you know, fight on short notice. Yep. I really need... I... Oh, God. I'm, I still have too many goddamn Sekiro uh, instincts in me. I don't block most of the time, which means I get hit a lot. And there's no reason not to block in this game. Oh, there's a thing down there. I know about this. Oh, I can't climb there, can I? Of course not. Why right, would you be able to climb that? And at least now that path is open, so I don't need to go all the way around. Ah, this time the Wampa is not doing his, uh, grand entrance. Oh, you... Oh, my mother... Video game. I was... Uh, never mind. Didn't click fast enough, I guess. Yeah. Kill the Turd 117 says, Arch, are you a true imperial citizen who loves peace, security, and justice for your new empire? Also, did Jedi have deserved Order 66? Yes, they did. The Jedi are very bad people. I've come to realize this in my travels. Oh, you respawned too. Sorry, little chicken. Didn't see you there. And Boog Boo Boo becomes a member too. Thank you very much, Boog. should just hold down the block button. It is far more effective. Oh, that's a jumpy thing. Than trying to actually parry it half the time. I like how it gives up at the end, as if it's like, yes, I'm dead. You can just leave me now, Mr. Jedi. Instead, Let's you kill BD. it. Violently and brutally. Often after severing its arm, just for extra effect. Still here, BD. Oh. Shouldn't have stepped on the roof. I forget how bad the Jedi are with slippery seen objects. This before, just not on this scale. Ah, it's a ball amplifier. Very common technology in Jedi places. You see, the Jedi ran their entire society based on balls. Just like these chambers. Literally. That entire worldview was centered around the idea of balls. Balls, 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 balls. Balls, balls. Balls, balls, balls. Balls, balls, balls. 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 Oh, that thing doesn't hurt me. Good. I was wondering if it was going to fry me if I stepped in it. Balls. Balls. And yet further instances of balls. 
All right, the power of balls is keeping the blueberries away, because the blueberries must avoid the balls. The power of ball cannot be taken lightly. Nor must the power of ball be used in vain. The power of ball must be valued, and used only by those with the correct mindset of balliness. Not everyone can be a ball. The Sith, for example. No crossing that, still breathing. The Sith Empire fell because they could not manipulate balls like the Jedi could. And so, when it came down to war, the one side ability to manipulate balls won out over the other's inability to do so. For he who controls the balls controls the galaxy. This is another side path, isn't it? Yes, it is. Let's not. Where do you wish, me, wish for me to go to the video game? Back over there. The balls must flow. Well, I still can't go through there, because I haven't activated enough balls to kill all the weed yet. Well, a quest for further balls, continue. Perhaps there are balls in that direction. Yeah, I don't think I want to jump over there. Well, yeah, that's the only way I can see to go through. Hi. Are you climbable? No, you are not. And so I die. Too, fl too dandruff. Okay, well, I'm supposed to be here, according to the map. No, I'm supposed to be... Ah, there's another spinny thing. Okay. Alright, spinny thing. Uh, that looks doable. Now what? I wonder if Z would know more about this. I don't know. I could care less about what Z knows about anything, frankly. Was that not the way? Well, it saved me from ball, uh, from death by blueberries yet again. Just jump at random walls until something sticks. Alright, everyone is supposed to leave this entire fucking place. Gunners Heard 117 says, Arch, do you think the Jedi paid taxes? No, I'm pretty sure they, um... Uh, they got away from that. I'm pretty sure they gave themselves an exemption to that particular rule. It seems a very thing in power to do. You know, the Jedi Council did not pay property tax, I can guarantee you that much. On that enormous temple of theirs. Where... where do you want me to go? It's like up there, around there, like, okay. But I've I've gone up there around there. Up. Do you want me to try and get up there again? Is that it? Can I even do that? Nope. Because it's slippery, and Jedi just don't like the slippery stuff. Is that slippery? Hmm, okay, let's go over there then. And a hoopla, and a hipla, and a hoopla, and a poopla. That looks... fucked, no? 
Is it funked enough for me to stand on? No. What do you want of me, video game? Religious tax exemption? Probably. Move the thing with the wires. Move the thing with the wires. Can't move that thing. I can't move that thing. Nothing. Maybe I gotta be on the other side. Gold Turd 117 again says, Wondering to myself how the Jedi got all the money. They were suspiciously wealthy, considering they also paid for the entire cloning project. The yellow cable. Okay, well, let's see if we can do anything with the cable. Can we cut the cable? Can we push the cable? No. Can I slash the cable? Again, this is why you put certain things in the air environments of a certain color to point out that they are useful. When you put other things in the environment with the same color that doesn't seem to be useful, you begin distracting the player. And I can't interact with that. I can't push it. I can't... E it? Am I supposed to climb it? Interact with it, hit it, fucking push it, pull it, jump it. Uh, it's, I don't think it's the side part. Oh, let's we'll try the side part. Because the map keeps pointing me back to where I was. And see, the map keeps pointing me back there again. And we'll try the side path. Everything here wants to eat you or suffocate you. Why do I always get assigned to these backwater posts? Yeah, no, I agree, buddy. It is a pretty piece of shit fucking place. Alright. <laughs> Shit, the critters around the array are pretty riled up. <laughs> Aren't they the just? The Imperial patrols probably don't help either. Dill you dead. Or pull you dead. This will come in handy. Confusion, Major Fauna. Forces with me. I don't know about that, Cal. That's not moving. It's locked. Nice. The map keeps telling me that I need to go back to find my objective. Good boy. I'm not killing it after it just helped me out. That'd be terrible. That'd be just goddamn awful, and we wouldn't do such a thing to such a lovely creature. Oh. That was one ginormous dead end. 
What about this? Oh, maybe. <coughs> Farewell, pig cow thing. Have fun eating that Imperial. Why am I here? <laughs> nope, that was... I was... <sighs> I was going to go up, video game. Because there seems to be roots on the ceiling. I wish to grab those roots. Uh, yep, that just drops me. Ah, <sighs> never mind. I can hear the fat thing following me. But I am not afraid, for it is too fat to fit in here. Like, I'm pretty sure this is all just one enormous side path. At least so the map tells me. I don't know if I should trust the map, mind you, but... Hello, Stormtrooper friend. <laughs> Little chicken, I don't like you. I imagine you could just, like, farm this guy. All day. That would all you do. Just kill him again, and again, and again, and again. And that is how you got your kicks. And let me guess, I can't get back up. No. There really should be a railing on this thing. Oh, heavens. Okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? Damn what? Ah, map sucks and lies to you, says Mr. Bob7370. Yeah, I'm coming to that conclusion. You know what? I think me and Jedi survivors had enough of each other right about there. Like, because if the gameplay isn't changing by now, this seems to be the gameplay. It is 90% tra traversing, interspersed with like 10% and maybe 5% of fighting occasionally and frankly i am just not very interested in a traversal game it's like go around for hours literally fucking five hours damn near walking in circles like this is not what i found interesting about the first jedi survivor maybe i'm having fond memories of it but i don't feel like it was quite this much pointless fucking walking i want to kill something Mm. Yeah, like if you if you want a walking simulator, if you want a puzzle game, I'm sure this is lovely. But uh, like, there is barely any combat. It feels like, and if after five hours the story still hasn't interested me, eh. I was like, okay, um. Argus Games. Art is fighting only zero of exploration. Like, I don't mind exploration, but what the fuck am I exploring exactly? Like, wh what is this? Well, it's some bullshit old Republic ruins. Okay. Am I interested? No. Is there environmental storytelling? Not really. There's dandruff on the floor. Uh, is, is there lore behind this? No, there's a secret planet behind the thing that we're gonna use as a homeless shelter. Like, the story is infinitely predictable. Like, it's not like Sekiro, where you get around a corner and you see something with a story, or you see the people and you're wondering, like, why is the world like this? Why did it get set up like this? It's just a traversal level. It's one long theme park ride. Like, 
there's nothing particularly interesting about here to explore. <sighs> ah. Maybe this is enjoyable for somebody, but uh, I think I'm going to call it quits there. Thank you all very much for watching. I don't even know how you managed. But I appreciate it nevertheless. Thank you. And I hope to see you all again soon. Uh, with, I think, something else. That's, uh, oh, did I survive? Well, Age of Wonders comes out in a few days. I think that game is going to be a hell of a lot more my speed. <laughs> The story is there is a planet we can use as a whole in the shelter. Space San Francisco, says Ben Lunch. Yes, yes. It is the quest for San Francisco. And what I was about to like the game, the whole thing with the companion characters, I actually thought was kind of intriguing. Like, okay, so you've got characters along with you, they help you traverse the environment, they fight enemies with you, and you get story bits from them. Like, I'm infinitely more interested in the guy I was with and his family than I am yeah, about space, space San Francisco. What about the other companion characters? What about Goth Girl? What about her? What about Stupid Woman I picked up from Dathome? What about them? Hell, I'll even take the four-armed freak at this point. <sighs> Anyways. I will actually wrap it up there. Until next time. Thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day. And uh, I should set up the redirect thing as well whilst I actually remember it. There, you can go watch, uh, if you want to see more of the game, you can go watch Kip, because he has gotten further in it, as he has more endurance than I do. Good day. <laughs>